Hello hello. Can't stick for long since I'm still at work but happy 3rd of Halloween and have a funny fun fun stream. Katie the oh woe Katie the oh woe Katie the oh woe.
Hello? Hello! Wahoo! Hi everyone! Hi, 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 hi! It's the first Toad Tuesday in a while, I think. Hi! I hope y'all are good. Um, I wound up starting, not to get too dramatic, but I started the week kind of hectic today, but Everything's fine. Everything's good. I've actually been hearing good news today, which is even better. So hey, I'm feeling I'm feeling better. I'm feeling better than I did yesterday. You know how it is when sometimes you just have a brain day and then a real thing happens. <laughs> it's like that. But things are good. Things are absolutely good. What's the thing? Jordan Jordan got in a minor accident yesterday, vis-a-vis uh, -vis two cars doing a kiss, but. The damage is mostly cosmetic, and Jordan is not seriously injured. He's mostly just taking it easy, being so cozy, wrapped up in so many blankets and ice packs, and be like, oh, my chest. <laughs> but nothing, no, no serious injury. So everything is, is good, and I'm happy, and I'm happy, and I'm happy. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, some other things are going on. I may have to step away for a second. I don't think I will, but... Um, depending, depending on if folks need me to help around the house for a second, because all I, would you believe it, uh, Jordan's, Jordan's dad is also, well, Jordan's dad had to go to surgery, but it was a really good, it went really well, but they will be home soon, so I may step away to see if they need help with anything later, um, just to keep y'all informed, but other than that, other than that, that's what's been, I, I don't even know what I want to say. I'm all twisted. Rule zero, we don't say words correctly. We don't spin yarns in a coherent manner. All all that to say, welcome to the street. <laughs> I am ready to just kind of wind down for a bit. I had a meeting beforehand and I wound up running a bit late, but I got wilder. I'm chilling. I'm ready to play some cards. Are y'all ready for cards? I know I'm ready for cards, but first we'll do a quick housekeeping. Folks, welcome to the stream. My name is Katie Ditz, but you can call me Katie. I'm an illustrator, I'm a VTuber, and I like to play video games, including this one, which, by the way, this is the second time we've played this game. We played it, I think, like, about a year or so ago now? Uh, I, I feel like it was the start of the year when I first picked this up. Not the start of this year, but last year. Um, I wanted to replay it to see how I felt about the game. Uh, we are about- we're- we're still in Act 1 currently. Uh, I love playing the card game, but I need to remember to lose on purpose. So we're only on our third loop, I think? This is the loop where we have to win, and then we'll get finger-waggled by the plot, maybe, and then we'll have to win again. So, that's where we're at. That's where I'm at in terms of knowledge. If you don't know anything about Inscription, be warned, we are knowers this time. So you may hear a spoiler or two, but uh, maybe more importantly, hey, if, if you haven't heard of this game before or you may have forgotten, hit exclamation point CW to check out what all sort of content is featured in this game. Also, hi, Jester! <laughs> Playing against person or computer, just doing the plot, just doing the story mode again, Kind of marveling at how they done did it and how I even inscription is almost three years old. Ah! <laughs> Screaming! 
That's crazy. Time is moving at a rapid rate and I don't know how to cope. I do know how to cope. I'm just chilling. <laughs> I'm just being, well, I'm chilling, but also being dramatic for fun. <laughs> hey, hi, how are you? Um, where was I at? The time is fake and it still hurts. Dang. Ain't that just the way. But yes, make sure you are familiar with the content warnings that this game has. Things like flashing lights, static for folks who don't like static noises. Um, there is implied self-harm, uh, poking out your eyes, pulling out your teeth. I'll, if I have to use the items to do that, I'll try to give a bit of warning. Uh, but other than that, you know, this is this is at times an icky, yucky sensory experience. So be forewarned. <laughs> Aw, you you miss my froggy fun streams. Aw, I'm glad I could bring them on back. Uh, get it on back on track with Toad Tuesday. Toad Tuesday. And then I believe also if things go well, we'll also be streaming on Friday and Saturday. I'll have to double check because again, started the week kind of crazy, but. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. I'm getting pumped. Forgot this game gets grody, but I still like it. That's the thing. I usually don't like grody stuff either, but I, I'm i having fun. I love this game and I'm still having a good time, even though I kind of know that for a good bit of it, it's kind of on the rails. That's probably one of the main things I don't like about it. I usually don't like games like that. And yet, despite everything, here we are. So. Other than everything I just talked about, make sure y'all are familiar with the rules, be civil, be kind, all that good stuff. And, you know, if you wanna support the stream, you already do the best method of support, just hanging out, having fun. But as always, there's tips, bits, and subscriptions at your disposal, which I believe start at 100 bits, $3, and tier one for $5 for an alert. I had to remember how much a tier one sub costs, cause I, you know what? They may still- I actually haven't checked if they're still on sale. I'm- I'm a- I'm a silly Twitch streamer. <laughs> but you know, I kind of- I've kind of had other priorities these past couple days, so it's whatever. They're not on sale anymore, so hey. I guess I was right. Also, hi Story! I followed your advice, and I've gotten a jump start on that island sanctuary. I'm living the dream. I can't wait to go back to it after stream. I thought about doing Final Fantasy XIV instead, but I kind of want to enjoy it at my own pace. You know, there's nothing quite like cozying up with a good MSQ and walking around a city or two. So, with that being said, I'm gonna turn on the, the happy playlist. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna leave happy, happy realm. Oh, and by the way, before I forget, we had, while we were on the starting soon screen, a tier one sub from that cheesy lad. Thank you, cheesy lad. I don't know if you're still able to hear us, but I do hope your work goes well. Let's get y'all over to gameplay. And we're going to do that. All right. And hey, if the volume gets weird or wacky, uh, let me know. I will try to adjust on the fly, but I think we've got it at a good level last time. So hey. Uh, once again, welcome to Inscription! Let's continue on our journey. Casey's mod, my beloved, I do want to come back to you soon. But right now, I need to, I need to, since I've been away from the game so long, I'm not ready for Casey's mod anymore. I gotta, I gotta train. I gotta get back up there again. We're just loading our floppy disk, don't mind us. Also, sorry about my very- see, that's the floppy disk, actually. Sorry, I had to jiggle it in there to get it to load. No, it's my water bottle. My very comedically large water bottle. Let me take a sip. Get started proper before be becoming grandpa. My grandpa's here, everyone! The angler's foul smell slowly faded as you continued on. Hmm. Oh yes, I know. Sheets of icy snow. Whoa! Money to buy a Dr. Pepper lol. Aw, thank you for the Dr. Pepper money! Thank you, Ray! How are you? I hope you're having a good one. 
Ooh, hydrate and stretch. Let me also do that while I read. Sheets of icy snow batten your body as you fought your way up to the vantage point. Sorry, it's been- Oh, I've been sitting here for so long. I told you you could stand up, but jeez. The snow-covered trees jutted from the landscape like prickly misplaced teeth. You continued on through the snow line. Good, hope you're doing well. I'm doing better today. Thank you, Ray. Dr. Pepper calls $3 now, society, no! Man, things are getting expensive, though. Sheesh. Don't remind me. Uh, so like how I said in the beginning, uh, we are in the middle. Uh, for this replay, we are at our third loop. I have two death cards. Where are they? Wolf God we picked up. And we also have another... We have another card named Muscle Man lurking in the wild. Uh, but this is our third lap. We need to win this one and then realize that winning isn't going to get us out of here. So... Let's, let's celebrate our Ouroboros while they're around. Look at this, look at this fella. Let me, let me actually get up from the cabin so I'm not like forgetting anything. I got the painting. Um, I think I got the ring. I believe the clock just reset itself because I, I turned the game off, but that's usually where the ring is up there. And I think even if we know what the numbers are supposed to be for this clock, we still need to follow the critical path for that information to actually, like, take effect. So... My ma! You know who else needs information? My ma! <laughs> Look at these. Fun guys. Funky fellas. Rotate the world in your mind. The world doesn't have to be just Miku's. By the way, I don't think we've talked to this fella yet in our run. Let's say hi. Hello! <laughs> the pain is unbearable, even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. The cage has been broken. The wolf statue is free. I believe this is a step towards freeing the master. Ah! <laughs> Watching the angle lose. Now that soothed my pain. An old rival of mine, that fisherman. He vested me this time, but I will have another chance. Ah! Just screaming, buddy. <laughs> I hear that. I forget if... So, I forget if doing anything with the knife right this second will actually help us. Um... Do, how many things do I have in my inventory? I could, like, try it, but I don't think it'll do anything for us this time. Yeah, I have- I just have the hook. Uh... I already did the- the, the caged wolf. Maybe I could just focus on winning and then... And then fiddle around with the knife then? That might be the best course of action. If there are any knowers of- of- of the- the way this game works, and can confirm or deny, feel free to do so. I allow it. But first, a trial. Trial of wisdom, trial of blood, and trial of kin. I mean... Um... I feel like with the cards we have, I don't know. I can't actually tell. Also, hi, hi. How are you? <laughs> you just pull. You just go pull teeth from Leshy Skull Decoration. He's just like, okay, you can use those. That's fine. <laughs> Good thinking. You know what? You are you are clever. All right. I'll I'll let it slide. You are interacting with my realm. <laughs> A treat for you. Or maybe someone else put the teeth there. Who knows? Hmm. Because, I mean, Sigil we could pass, but we could just as easily get burned. Let's do it. Let the trial of wisdom begin. Okay. 
There we go. All right. What am I? What am I scared of? Success. What treats? Ooh, uh, that's kind of cool. Corpse maggots with the hoarder sigil and corpse eater. So, if you get it and a creature dies, you could just be like, "That's it. I'm calling in my strongest warriors. <laughs> I'm calling in the squad. You're coming with me." And then I don't think I need sigils because I have the I have the bloody squirrel. I don't need statues, rather wood carvings. So items, please. I just realized I didn't use the hook against the I didn't use the hook against the angler purely because I got like a really nasty card, I think, right off the bat, and was just like explode. <laughs> I should try to use that uh, in the next fight. That might be fun. Me again. Ooh, wait. Mmm. Oh, I know what I might use the... Sorry, I just had a brain blast of what I could use the dagger for. I'll get up... I'll get up right before uh, the fight and try to grab it for the boss fight so I can... I can manipulate the points in my favor easier, faster even. Uh, we got a lot of growing boys on the field. Who do we have? Um... I mean, I do intend on making room, but it's- Oh no, wait, what am I doing? I'm forgetting I'm having bloody squirrels. Get- become reacquainted with the world you live in. Now, who do I want to call? I mean, probably Ouroboros, right? Let's get our guy. Hmm. It has- you know what? Speaking of staying cool, it- the- the most awful thing has happened. Who could believe it? Um, the weather has become- the weather has become really hot again. Uh, don't mind me. I'm just strengthening the Ouroboros really quick. Yeah, I'm sure, buddy. Here you go. Um, but like, it's gotten hot after getting a little cool, and I was so thankful for when it got cool. But now that it's hot again, <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can feel it. Like, the difference. Ugh. I want to get rid of any of mine. We're like... Hmm... What if... Hmm. Eh. Oh wait, I'll need to go here if I want to buy more cards. And I do have a lot of teeth. Do I even want to buy cards? I don't think I really need to. I'll have to get them one way or another, I guess. I want it to be cold. I want to crack my window all day. It'd be so cold in my room. You can almost see your breath, right? That's what I'm saying. We have like a- we have like a, a fan. I don't know how to describe it. It's not like a tr like. Let me figure out what I'm doing first, and then I'll and then I'll tell y'all about this this thing I'm thinking about. Um, I feel like we're gonna have to run to the trader at some point. Might as well do something fun. Oh, I could get that. I'll be clear with you. The trapping business be lagging after being defeated by that challenger. Well, I'm thinking of clearing my inventory, trying something else. Pelts are cheaper now. That's right, because then pelts are cheaper, and I just have all of this. Um, and because I think they fixed the thing where um, if you had Casey's mod, the knife became a usable item. And if you went back to the base game, you could still have this enabled, so you could just grab essentially a free pair of scissors. Let me wear my cardigan. I want to wear cardigan so bad. Eh, I'll grab one pelt. I don't want to overflow my deck too much. So then also I'll be going here. Um. Oh, and now that I figured out what I was doing, I forgot what I was going to talk about. It's alright. I was probably just going to go in a circle either way. 
What if... What if we put the death touch? I know- listen. Hear me out. Long Elk is really cool. But... What if in honor of Toad Tuesday... Devilish, disgusting, poisonous frog. Devilish, disgusting, poisonous frog. A vile Halloween frog. Full of toxins. Bright and vibrant so you know it'll make you sick. Delightfully devilish, exactly. Right, I was gonna talk about the fan. Um... It's like it's like a f one of those fans where you turn it on and it sucks air like up and through the house like like not a ceiling fan but something actually in like built into the attic and the ceiling. It's really cool. It makes things cooler, but it's kind of scary. So, I would rather it just be cool outside. I'm going to use my bones. 1 2 3 4 I just need I just need one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my ringworm. I'm gonna put him here. And then with that, now that we have the corpse maggots with uh, the hoarder sigil, we can just grab our guy, keep boosting our boros. Corpses are in no short supply. I agree. That was so worth it. No fiddling about this time. Let's just go for gold. Kitty gets sucked up by the fan. I, yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be like the, a balloon. I'm just gonna be like, wait, help! I'm gonna. I, I gotta. I gotta watch out for fizzy lifting drink. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it, keep that fizzy lifting drink away from me. Hmm. Just put. Just put like bees on all of the ants <laughs> for fun I kind of would like to do that but unfortunately we won't have a chance to do it until later the decrepit woodcarver appeared before you she moved with a certain vigor in spite of her considerable age we could build dams we can get dogs We'll get dogs, but we're still- we're still ride or die with the squirrels. You hunched down to place her offering in your pack. When you looked up again, the ancient woman had vanished. Oh! You got- you got a pair of physical real-life inscription cards?! That's awesome! Are they actually haunted? Did you- did you go find look and look, look- oh man, rule zero. Did you find Luke? Did you go play cards with Luke? Go play cards with Luke. That's awesome, though. Also, happy belated birthday! How have you been? They're in a box that makes me think they're probably cursed. That's the best. That's the best way you could do it. Honestly. Hmm. You know what? Let's give- let's give a little bit of the spotlight to the Ant Queen. Let's give her some love. She's got a lot of love to give, right? And we will decimate her foes. <laughs> we will get the bees on the board. Hiya! There, now we only have one bird to worry about. And then... Yeah, I'm not gonna- I thought about- I thought about sacrificing the Ouroboros for fun, but I should have drawn a- a regular card if I wanted to do that. No coordinates yet, but they really made every Act 1 card for the set, even Hungry Child. Wow, that's like... That's like related to Child 13, right? Like you sacrifice the child... Oops, sorry, I didn't mean the stand up. You, you, you do it one too many times and then, uh-oh. <laughs> that's a Hungry Child. And it's... is it... It's also like a reference to 
the original, right? Trying to desperately grasp at any trivia I, I retained of this game. <laughs> yeah! I don't think I have any duplicates. So I'm trying to think of if I just want to... I mean, like, a duplicate of any card I have would probably be... good. Or I could... Muscle Man! Muscle Man's here! You know who else is here? <laughs> what if we got a duplicate Muscle Man? We need duplicates. One for each of us. Uh, oh dear, you, you don't. You have no duplicate cards. Uh, take one of ours? We will use it next time. Who you got? Bullfrog! Ant Queen! The Regal Ant Queen. She birthed a new ant once played. And Bloodhound! Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Because I don't know if we're really gonna play around with these later. I'll get the Ant Queen and maybe we'll put like... Maybe we'll get a chance to do something later, but before I do anything... Remember, 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 remember... The knife! You finally pried my special dagger from the paws of that squirrel, though you may wish you hadn't. And when I use this knife, I'm gonna give y'all a warning, because that's when ice cream stuff happens. Okay. Cards only the bosses have? Oh, that's cool! You could DM a- you could DM a whole game! That does sound fun. That's awesome. What a rad birthday present. Give me the smoke. Give me the smoke. The trapper sat hunched beside one of his traps, slowly cranking it open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. He shouldn't have come here. <laughs> you shouldn't have come here! No! <laughs> Who do we got? Nice top deck. Oh, thanks! It's full of bees! Well, luckily, we anticipated this scenario, didn't we? All I need to do, theoretically... Well, I mean, if I wanted to do it this turn... Hmm... Yeah, okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put down a greater smoke. And then I'm gonna do- I'm gonna use the knife, which I think should give me four points. I think an eyeball is worth four in this world, we'll find out. Uh, so watch out, here's your eye warning. I'm gonna click it now, here we go. Ah! <laughs> Icky -icky! All right. Um... And then I'll just hit it. Exquisite pelts, but the cycle must continue. Let's trade. Pelt. Now I believe... Ooh, powerful cards. I will accept only the finest pelts for them. Trade for what you can, but know this, the rest will stay and fight for me. Sorry, I want to make sure I didn't, like, accidentally click one of these. So I have... One... Two... So... I mean, the Grizzly feels pretty cool. But also, Rattler... Death Touch feels really cool, too. Hmm... Probably should go for the grizzly bear. I can have the best of both worlds. Maybe just one of these two. Just have them both. I would have chosen differently. Well, you're not me. Leave me alone. 
here. Let's do... How do I want to do this? Sorry, I just thought of something funny. Just put the bee, just put the bee there when it, when the moose comes in. Just get some bees for free. I'm gonna put the bear over there in the empty spot, and then I'm also gonna do. Ah, I'm lacking bones still. Okay, then. Yeah, give me the, give me the bees. And then, is that enough? Not yet. Eh. I'll just, I'll just play my turn then. Oh, it moved. I think I lose, actually. Uh-oh, I didn't play good. Uh-oh, I didn't play good. That's on me. Oh, no, not delicious frozen treats, sorry. Well, damn. Because of my, my, my sad playing, I really goofed a good run. That's a shame. Try to, be, try to remain alive for just a short while longer. I would like a memento. Your death card. Let us begin. Cost of free, please. Uh, power and health. The nasty wolf that we made, six and four. Oh, you shouldn't have. That's a free Ouroboros. A little weaker, but free. Let's extract that sigil, shall we? Unkillable. What should we name this one? A six four that is undying and free. Hmm. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah, you you are unkillable. Real cozy boy. <laughs> Mario. <laughs> there you go, honey. Prepare yourself. Death awaits. Are you ready? Well, not much for trading that last one. Are you prepared to make the right deals? Your starting deck. Okay. Well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, Daniel. We need a magpie and a squirrel for that one. Look at our little figurines. We really could have had something special. -a. Well, I beamed it. Hmm. Ah, I watched that dagger do its work. For a moment I felt that my misery had company. Oh, but it had its own noble purpose. Surely a step towards freeing the master. That's right. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, this time I gotta win. Cause now, now, I, I stabbed out my eye, but that means, oh, I just start with the dagger then. But, um, I still need to, like, win and then win again, quote-unquote. Like, I need to win and then I need to win for real. What do I have? We need a statue. Let's get a statue. Let's get a- well, let's get a carving. One, two, or three. Hmm. Uh, What if we did it again and there was like a free one? No, there's just bones. Let's go with two. Bloodhound, okay. Welcome back, Bloodhound. Uh, returning star of the show, Bloodhound. Uh, give it up. You came upon the old woodcarver who fixed her intense gaze upon you. After an overlong moment of silence, she moved to offer her carvings. Deadly squirrel sounds nice. 
if we can't find blood, I know that the squirrels can't actually attack, right? But like, if we find another woodcarver and she doesn't give us, like, A, she doesn't give us uh, the bloody squirrels. B, we get something else, like a dog head, for example. Start building, start building a deck like that. You know? Hmm. Not the most inspiring hand. I think... I mean, I could also just... I mean, do I want a whole run with just, like, an eye missing? I don't want to use it too fast, too soon. I'll use the squirrel bottle, though. I don't... I don't trust... How this match will go. Plus, I get to use my items. You cost two... I'll just put the frog here. And then we're good to go. You put Jordan in the girls game? Kind of frogged up. I don't know. He seemed pretty excited. I think he... I think... I think... He can... I think... He can find his way out, maybe? Maybe? Maybe... Maybe if Jordan is with me in the heart of the cards... Sorry, I got excited thinking about my, my husband being the heart of the cards. Um... But maybe if he's with me in the heart of cards, I'll just- I'll just be super cool this run, run. The nascent fawn, it quickly grows into an elk. Wolf. Hmm, could go for more dogs. I'm thinking about that dog- these killer dogs now. We've been in our- in our Ace Attorney streams on Sundays, which are also on Jordan's channel. Um, we've been dealing with the Hound of the Baskervilles, which- uh-oh. I mean, actually, hmm. I could shift gears to try to go for elk or birds, but squirrels that can block flying creatures also doesn't seem like a bad thing. Ideally, I would go for lizards, but they're not here right now. Uh, I'll pick up the bird, but. Actually, no. I'll just I'll just put it on preemptively. Without another word, the woodcarver was gone. Jordan turns any curse into a cozy time. It's true. It's true. It's true. Let's see. Pronghorn blocks flying creatures. Um. Not gonna be fun. I don't imagine. You can only do one. We'll put you here, but you'll block that damage. At least one point of damage. Then you'll come this way. You will... want to hurt me so bad. I'm actually going to go ahead and go for the wolf. Get that guy out of here. Get the stoat on the board. What are you saying, stoat? You sassing me? You sassing me about cards again? I'll get you. The bloodhound will get you. I suppose now that pelts are cheaper, I don't have to think about... Trying to go for overkills. I feel like I'll just naturally have enough. I'll be darned, you came across me early. Care for a game of chance? Pick a boulder and I'll break it good. I'll break it if it's gold. It's yours. I'm gonna go stuck in the middle with you. Ooh, okay, but that's fun. Also, there are dogs happening. Hang on, this might be the moment that I was talking about. I want to step away for a second because that might be my folks coming home. BRB! Help! Help! Help!
Yellow! It was not actually the folks, but we've got things set up so that when they do come home, it should just be no problem. Which, speaking of no problems, I got no problem with this beehive. Look at it. It loves coming in and just using corpses for nests. Ew, actually, that's kind of yucky. You're coming with me, I guess. What do we got? T uh, scissors! Never go wrong with a pair of scissors. I love scissors. Cut up cards with them. Make bears mad. Ooh, the beehive's here. Uh, What can I do in this situation? I guess, I mean, I could just play the beehive. I don't have to wait for a card to go down necessarily. Spider. Spider. Here. Let's go ahead and do that. I got vulture bees. Uh. I got vulture bees. Ski oh, and these are also vultures, I guess. <laughs> but do I want to play them like vultures is the question. I'll get another one, but let's go for bloodhound. Because we'll get rid of this bird and then I'll be lined up to get the next bird too. Just lined up to keep getting birds. And the bee is there now too. <laughs> Everything everything's coming up. We're we're good to go. Getting rid of all of our getting rid of all of our foes, even though the stoat does not agree. Stoat is mad. Stoat is always angry. I concede. Sure, let's concede. Pelts are cheap. No need to drag things out. I'm still looking for the for those totems though. Bloodhound again. Eh, if we find if we if we find a dog head. That's dogs, baby. What do we got? The decrepit woodcarver appeared before you. What do you have for me this time? Dogs! Also stinky, but we want the dog head. We got killer dogs. We got the we got the killer dogs on our side. The gray-haired woman silently collected her carvings and left. And here we are, prospector time, y'all. Aw, us and our pretty little ring. You passed a massive empty pool, surrounded by heaps of unidentifiable giblets and scantlings. It seemed the bull was designed for a dog, but what earthly hound would require a meal of that size? Where's that hound of mine? I got him. I actually have all your dogs. Also, they kill for me now. <laughs> you work for me now. Let's see. I'll do... I'll do wolf. Why not? Get an early lead. And then, because it's killer wolves, we will simply be okay. I don't mind taking the damage. Cause then we, ooh, my mule, curse you. That's, that's interesting. We got, uh, the bell. The bell that hurts you so much harder if, if it's closer to the, to the actual bell. And we got cockroach! Give it up for cockroach, everybody. Oh, I gotta draw a card. Sorry! Sorry, I got excited to see my friend the cockroach! What do I actually want to play here? Here, let's do... 
We'll have the greater smoke there to do damage, and then we'll do... I didn't actually mean to put another squirrel down there now that I think about it. Ah, well. Do the frog. If this goes well, then yeah, the frog will just get hurt, and then, through their noble sacrifice, the bugs will come. And then we should just be chilling for the rest of this match. Because I think... Ah, but if I don't kill the, the mole, then that's going to be a problem, isn't it? Are they gonna put more down? I'm just I'm just chilling and pulling cards. Cause I know if I play another card, I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna have no spots to put down my cards. There's gold in them cards! See, look. My cards are so beautiful. My my cockroach has molted and and the wings have become gold. Who do I wanna who do I wanna play this fine evening? I guess what I'll do. Where are where are you, cockroach? I, I I can't find you in the mess. Put you down. The the bloodhound is going to do that. But what I'll do. Boss time, eh? Yep. Same old, same old. I'm going to actually use this opportunity to premiere. The tentacles. Okay, now I got it. Now I now I do have to hurry this up. So cockroach, get him. I ran out of all the cards in my main deck. That's that's how you know it's gonna get scary in a few turns. Cause then there's um what is it? There's an effect where once you run out of cards, your your board just starts filling up with with unkillable. Star like starvation cards. Because you're starving. Let's see. Sorry, I was adjusting in my seat there. Amalgam. Pack rat. The dose. Let's do that's a that's an angry dog right there. I think the dog wants uh what 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 treats are in those bag? Pack rat, do you got treats for dog? Oh wait, but amalgam. I almost forgot. Amalgam is all creatures, so Amalgam will also be instant killer. In this case, welcome aboard! <laughs> Wiping the dust from your trousers, you return to your journey. We will need another map. Maybe we're doing a dog run because tr we're trying to manifest the last NPC we need to find. Tepid water flooded your boots. Flies swarmed around you. You had entered the wetlands. Do I have anything that I want to get rid of? Just to like, not have to worry about it anymore? Because I don't need to go to the item thing. You can get rid of the bullfrog. Because I feel like we're just doing, we could, we could put uh, it on like the bloodhound maybe, or one of the bloodhounds. Let's do that. Let's thin out our deck a little bit. Get it more dog focused. These are not dogs. Show me dogs. That's bees. That's frogs. That's a kingfisher. <laughs> the adept kingfisher, a slippery hunter. Hmm. I mean, we could also just put bees on another creature. We could, I mean, stoat looks like they're full of bees. Come on. And then... Oh, but I'll have to get items anyway in just a second. Hmm. Yeah, let's just let's 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 get rid of a card, and then we'll put bees on someone for fun. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Put the bee. Put, uh, wait, no. I forgot this isn't a sacrificial al altar. This is just getting rid of a guy. Um. I mean, if we are gonna put the bees on someone, 
then. Let's get rid of the frog. Frog! This isn't goodbye. You're just going- you're just- Listen, the Bone Lord redeemed a rare frog, okay? I'm sorry. This is the only way I can get it to you. You will be reborn! You will gain a new form. Maybe you'll become a VTuber of your own and have your own lore. Like a mad wizard has has conjured you in a and everything went so wrong. But yeah, Frog is going to Friday. Have fun. Have fun in Friday. Now we do Oh no, the smelly birds are coming. Those stanky birds are gonna smell up the place. Thankfully, we can kill them. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's fun. What? Oh, never mind. This is the one instance where we probably cannot kill them, actually. Uh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I might, because technically these are gonna fly over the bees. So I might as well just wait a turn. Yeah, one damage, no biggie. Next, just get these fellas in here. This fella in here rather. It's still a meaty two damage. That ain't nothing. And since it's a kingfisher, we won't have to worry about that otter ever coming in. I don't I actually I don't even know if there's a way to deal with kingfishers now that I think about it. Is this the part where I just cut up one of the Oh, the bees here. Nice. I do need to use an item. <clears throat> what if I'm gonna forget to- I'm always gonna forget to use that. Always and forever. So... I could have left it alive, but I'm going for the win. Thank you for the follow! Enjoy your stay! Alright. Now we have space in our backpack. That's always good. I wind up never using the dagger, because I'm afraid of never finding it again. Yeah, ever since that defeat. Well, you don't want to hear it. Cheaper price is a joy. Drying my tears on me pelts. One, two, three, four, five, ten. Okay. Um. Hmm. Just like grab a four for right now. Don't want to get too, 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 too wet and wild. Or, I mean, I could also go for a two. Let's just do three pelts. I think that's fun. Much appreciated. Have a little allowance for later. Maybe there'll be a vendor up along the trail. I feel like if there was like... I know that there's like no conceivable way to do a sequel for th this game probably, but... You know, just thinking of like how there's like... You know, what if there were more events? What if, what if there were more, more, more shops people? Though maybe it would get too cluttered then. Maybe, maybe then I would lose the plot a little bit and just get distracted. How far in the game am I? Uh, let's see. This is my second playthrough in general, so I know all the spoilers, but right now I've died three times. I technically haven't won against the moon. I could have, but then I would have messed up the, 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 the route, as it were. So we're just trying to win. <laughs> the next game in the series. Thank you for the follow! Enjoy your stay! Did I draw a card? I think I did. The bugs are smelly, though. That's not good. Let's just get the stoat out there to do some damage. Because I think, uh... Otherwise, stoat will be doing no damage. And then we'll put the pelt down. And I think I just need to try to get rid of these bees. Hi, honey. Hi, what's up? Oh, my food order? Yeah. Oh, 
Okay, um, let me VRB for a sec, chat. I gotta go, I gotta get ready for meal time. Uh, I don't want it to be no music. Here, spooky ambiance! Thanks for waiting! They're gonna be home soon and there's, there's gonna be dinner. Yes! 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 Me with my little fist. Yes! Please, please. Can you play? Or, can you play? Oh, God. Yes! <laughs> yes, I can. Uh, ring. Ah, oh, the killers are coming. Ooh. I could just go ahead and if I wanted to keep I mean I have I have three candles. I'll 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 be fine if I don't live through this match. It's not the end of the world, actually. But I can use this. See, I just had to take a second to really think about it. And then that's... Hmm... They would still kill me. Why not? There'll be another pair of, 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 of backpacks along the road. I like having lots of smoke. It f makes me feel safe. Okay, well thankfully... Make that just just smell up that whole area. Just because of the because of the stink lines going on here, it also you know it lets me have a stinky bug. I guess I actually don't think that's how it works. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, just put her down. Kill. Pull it back. And we're at a stalemate. Well, not a stalemate. <laughs> I do appreciate what 
Um, Casey's mod does. You know what? If if there was anything to add to the game, it's already been added in Casey's mod. I can't really think of much else. Do I want to go for more dogs? I could try to find more dogs. Let's go see if we can find some more dogs. Bug. Dog. Lizard. <gasps> Wolf cub! Oh, that'll be nice. That's really nice, actually. Ooh, campfire and a, a sacrificial altar. We're gonna put we're gonna put these bees on somebody. We gotta get these bees out of here. Stinky lady, so full of bees. No, but. If I do want to put something on her, I want to try to... Well, but I... Mm, it's not going to be likely that I'm going to find a... a un, undying in this run. Do I want to... Mm. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, if it's stinky and it's just a creature that only hits for one, then it's going to be useless. So... Let's put it on one of the dogs. The dog is going to be jumping into danger. If you're going to be getting hit anyway, this dog ate uh, a bee's nest and its face is swollen, but it's not actually hurt. It's just that now anytime the dog barks, a billion bees come flying out like bullets. That's terrifying, actually. Nightmare creature. Nice. Very nice. Uh, unfortunately, most of this, besides the bees... Ooh, coyote moment! I don't want to deal with the coyote! Oh, I don't know. I might- I might actually have to- if- I might actually take a, a loss here. But I'll try. Cause I f I don't want to give up that knife. Because then there's a bee, and the bee gets put down to block the coyote now. But then I still don't have enough to really summon anybody, unless I wanted to. But then I'll get hit for three anyway, and then if I don't get the coyote, I'll get hit for like... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna- I'm gonna pass this one, chief. You got me here. I got- I got too many beefy cards. All my cards are too strong. I still have not died. I meth. I don't. I. Mm, I don't know if I'm mathing this out correctly in my head. I still think I'm not gonna win this. Mostly because I kind of threw the match before it already began. Because either I would get hit for three still if I went for the coyote, or I would get hit for four. It is painful to see. Thank you for understanding my plight. <laughs> Hi, Rhapsody! What a wonderful day to inscribe some cards, right? We're on a dog run today. Ooh. Let's actually try to find some one bloods. There we go. I need I need some one bloods, because I only have I only have the stoat, uh, the wolf gub, and the beehive. And I could also get any of these pelts. I need to get rid of these pelts. Casey! Hey, we were just talking about you. Come on in! Come on in, Casey. Welcome to the club. Might also make one of these cards stronger. But I'm not sure who yet. Maybe I can make Casey stronger. You think? A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing, and uh, it was, it was, I don't know what they're doing over there. They're kind of giving you a weird look. It's uncomfortable. Hmm. This is health, so... Use wisely. Give it to the wolf cub, because I don't want the wolf cub to be obliterated, turn one. Now it is a stoat. But better. 
The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf cub. And on to... Nightmare. We still haven't found any magpie, unfortunately. For the portrait. But we're on boss two, which is nice. Give me the smoke, uh. I'll take one smoke over no smoke. What you first mistook for a misshapen boulder appeared to be a hulking man. You attempted to sneak past him, but your foot made contact with a metal bucket. I am the angler. You are the fish. Oh no! What kind of fish do you think I'd be, chat? Ooh! Okay. Um, I do want to get so silly with this, but also, oh, this would go so badly so quickly. What if I just do greater smoke for now? Oh, why did I put it there? I'll put a squirrel where the next guy's coming down. Yeah, that one. All stale, hard choose. <laughs> what do you mean stale? Are the bones stale to you? I guess, I guess that makes sense. I don't really know what counts as fresh bones, per se. <laughs> Hi, Violet! I'm late for Peepaw's Cabin! Oh no! It's okay! Anytime you can show up for Peepaw's Cabin is good time for Peepaw's Cabin. I hope you've been well. Ooh. trying to think about what I would rather do. I know, I'm sorry, I need to draw a card. Here, we'll put the wolf cub down. Right there. And then we should be able to take care of the wolf cub. I'm going to put the squirrel back on this one new fish easy choose that'll just be the fish square that's where all the that's that's the fishing market the farmer's market of fish would you just call it a fisher's market hmm it's been a very tired day but overall i'm okay hey that's good take a load off relax you earned it oh if i put too many cards down. Here, I'll put the stoat down. And then when we go to the next round, I'll sacrifice some cards so that we don't hit the the um metal buckets. Amalgam. Let's see. I'll at least... I'll get rid of these ones. Okay, and then we'll have that to worry about. Which, we have killer dogs. So it actually probably isn't that much of a problem, I think. Oh, it is actually, because the, 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 the shark also goes underwater. I forgot. That's the main, that's the main uh, perk of being a shark. Anyway, we don't gotta worry about that, though. Worrying about the danger of the situation, even though you are in no danger at all. Your lives are restored. Thanks! The Bass Pro Shop. True! Have y'all ever gotten lost in there? I feel like if you're not paying attention, you can de- Ooh, Mantis God! You tell him, Isabella. That's Isabella if you happen to hear a dog. She's- she's the dog who- if you're here, uh... For the last stream, I told a story about how after we picked her up from the groomers, uh, she tried to go up a step, like, you know how there's a step in front of a door sometimes. Tried to go up the step, fell up down the step, a little potato sack. <laughs> but she's got the sass in her. She's not slowing down for anybody. The beauty of the falling snow could not distract you from the chill in your bones. Your body quaked in a futile attempt to maintain warmth. You had finally reached the snow line. So here we are again. And there's the trader up there, so that's good. 
If I could, if I could have a cockroach, actually, for the the mantis god, that would be great. Let's go for a wisdom card, though. Let's see what we can find. I'm interested to see what the card or what the what the game generates cards-wise. Trial of kin. We're definitely gonna pass that. I think. Wisdom and power. I mean, yeah, we do have a strong majority of dogs. But also, would it be better to go for power over dog? We could get a pelt. Either way, that would be bad. Let's do kin. I trust in the power of dogs. Wolf. Amalgam, that counts! And a wolf! Two wolves and an amalgam walk into a bar. The trial was passed. Beaver. Coyote, that's a dog. Grizzly! Uh, very prickly grizzly. Hmm. I mean, I don't really have too many... Hmm. Hmm. A stank coyote. Coyote need a bath. Uh, you know what? Come on. We'll figure out... We'll try to find a spring along the way. In the snow plains. <laughs> That'll probably freeze it. Oh, no. Um... I know we'll need a fan for... The fan will be actually great for the last encounter. And then we got scissors. Okay. I feel really good now. This could- this- this- we could be cooking. <laughs> That'll make it a nice type! What's that? Wrong game! Uh-oh. Just have like a mod for this where like, someone draws in the style of inscription, but it's all, like, Pokemon. Pokemon that would most fit in here. Pokemon TCG moments. We got a Vulture. Uh, and that makes me not happy. But the Vulture will not kill the dog. So, at least I think it'll fly over the dog. So let's just take care of that. Let's just- let's just take care of that really quick. Ow! Draw a card. And then draw another card. We've got- ooh, who do I want to play? Let's do Bloodhound. Let's get- let's- 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 let's get silly. Good, good. Got rid of the guys on both sides. So now that alpha wolf can't power up anybody, including the tree. We'll be able to take care of that. Oh, the bees are also- Oh, because the bee comes from the toxic dog, the bees are also toxic. This is like, this is like some sort of like Resident Evil dog experiment gone wrong, right? You wanna watch a bee kill a tree? <laughs> Hang on, no draw a card. This is the most powerful bee in the world. Watch. With one fell swoop, this the snowy fur will fall. Oh! <laughs> Not allergic to dogs or bees? <laughs> we can fix that. Why? Hmm. <laughs> Have you brought me fine pelts? I have. Yeah, pelts. Ooh, for the amount of cards I have. Alpha, though! Hey, dog deck. Come on in. It's a, get a couple more bones, boys, for fun. Uh, ooh. That's kind of scary. Where it's like a kingfisher that will never die. Like, it's it, it'll permanently block one of your spaces, but, you know. Hmm. That is, a, that's a, yeah, it's a scary kingfisher. Come on, let's play. Let's, let's learn a thing or two about kingfishers. And then, oh, my friend. Oh, but Gek, though. Oh, two, my two best friends fighting against each other for the last slot on my team. Oh, Gek, I'm sorry. Uh, Gek, I'm sorry. 
How could they make us choose? What can even attack the Kingfisher? That's the thing, I don't know. Hmm. What can we put on here now that we're here? I mean, well, I do love the alpha. I could also put that sigil on another dog. Like this dog. Power dog. The dog of prophecy. Wolf cub. Alpha wolf cub. Dog of power. Ooh, we've got, we've got uh, the twins up ahead. We've got two wolves, so that's gonna be fun. But first, I'm gonna do a sniffle. Ah, all right. Ooh, we got some friends. We got some friends here today. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna get this lined up so that if I, if I, if I do the Bloodhound, the Bloodhound's gonna beef it. I guess we also have double Bloodhound, don't we? That's actually kind of fun. Um, I'm gonna set it up so Wolf Cub comes in and gets rid of that guy for us. Even with, even with the increased health. They, they are not gonna have a fun time against, uh, the moose buck. And I think this will also go into the back, too? Maybe? I don't know. I don't think I need to play anything else this turn, but I will. Let's watch this. BAM! Squirrel of power! If those squirrels were poisonous, this is where it would actually take effect. And now... Get that guy on the board. Get rid of all of them. I might have time to get Ouroboros on the board. Hang on. How many points? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it this time. I thought about if I could squeeze in a sacrifice on the Ouroboros before the match ended, and I don't think it would have been worth it to try to make things more complicated. Kingfishers can only be overkrilled. Oh, sorry, I'm catching up with the with the with with what y'all have been talking. If attacked by a Death Touch card before it can dive, a diving card can be krilled. But otherwise, Kingfishers really can't be hurt. Damn. That's powerful. That really is powerful. I'm glad- I'm glad the Kingfisher's on our side. <laughs> Speaking of- <laughs> hello! Hmm. Ooh, hang on, chat. Okay, give me your honest opinion. We have a unique scenario at our hands. The mycologist is ahead. We have a lot of duplicate wolves, but now we can get a duplicate Kingfisher, which, as established, cannot easily be killed. So... We could combine them to make a 2-2 two -two Kingfisher that could be used over and over with the many lives. Or we could just get another really strong dog. Ultra Instinct Kingfisher has to be hit before it can power up. True! It does sound really cool. Go for the wolves unless you can get a sigil on the second Kingfisher. That's... I mean, I guess, speaking of sigils, uh, cards... Cards have a max of... Do they have a max of three? Because if I if I think about it, this is like, if we tried to put another sigil on it, it might actually knock off one of one of these cool perks. So I don't know if I would put a, a, another one on the Kingfisher. They do accept for my call. Oh, so you could have four. Like one half could have up to three and the other half could have up to three, theoretically. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I could also refresh to see what we get. That's funny. Staple moron, that's funny. 
In that case, then... Let's, let's refresh and see if we can at least get something else, like another dog. Magpie, we're looking for you. We need you for the portrait if we want to go for it. Here, I'll take that. We need Magpie in the right corner and Squirrel as its neighbor. World's your oyster. World's my oyster. Let's see, we can get rid of card ahead. Do an altar. Let's see what the mycologists have for us. Hello, mycologists. Do, do you have... Uh, they are not victims. Ooh, hydrating stretch. Good call. I don't know when uh, dinner's gonna get here. But I'll probably also take like a, a, a another break when that happens. We'd also sip. Love the Maggie. Or sorry, the Maggie. Pfft, the magpie. I don't know why I read it as Maggie. <laughs> One of the few birds I consistently pick up. Oh, that's nice. Mm. I like I like the idea of guaranteed bloodhound versus having like, oh, which bloodhound is it? Is it the one with the bees? I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, you should. You don't want to see this. Uh, guys, you don't actually want to see this. Why are you looking? <laughs> reverse, a a reverse movie moment. The operation was a success. Four six beehive that jumps in front of stuff is awesome. I know, right? And with the and with the total we have, it also just instantly murders. <laughs> it's great. I'm having I'm having a good time actually. Amalgam, wolf, and mantis god. Very nice. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We could. We we could put the mantis god on a wolf. And if we had enough, if we were able to combine those, that would be crazy. Um. It's another turkey vulture moment. So I guess. Hmm. I guess doing the squirrel mantis god, at least, like, it evens out this first turn. Three and three. But... Hmm. Okay, so that's like that now. If I leave it alone... If I don't adjust anything, I'm gonna take six damage and I'm gonna lose. I don't think I can overkill the mole, so I might as well go for the vulture. But I could also prevent the raven coming in. No. I won't prevent it from coming in, because then it'll just get killed, and then they'll both come in. Well, I'm overthinking it a little. I'm- the- the- I'm overthinking it a little, I think. Ooh. Could, could just go ahead and cut up a card, but... I- I can also just deal with it. I can wait a turn. Hmm. I mean, I could use the fan too. I could use this early, but I want to use that for the for the for the 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 trapper. Ugh. Decisions, decisions. Overthinking when I have so many lives. I'll wait a turn. I'll be, I'll be okay. It's fine. I'll take an L. No wormies. I can afford it. Itchy. <laughs> and then... Still haven't managed to draw this guy. 
I could just try to get rid of some cards too. Let's go to the, let's go, let's go altar. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get rid of a card at the altar, even though I'm now getting another card. The Meddlesome Bat, a minor terror. Let's refresh. I'll get a grizzly bear. For fun. Let's go over here. Now, what do I want to do? I could give up Ouroboros, but that feels silly. I could consolidate Casey into Ouroboros, which feels like on a meta like lore level that feels kind of crazy to do <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like if you know casey the smod and you know like the story well enough like the implications of what that could be yeah just a little let's get a little messed up today we ball fuck it <laughs> today we ball and it's prickly too. So that's 14 damage that has the uh that has the potential to increase. Cool. 16. Sorry, I can't math. I was thinking of 7, not 8. The trapper stood before you. Out of habit, you reached for your collection of teeth. The man grimaced and shook his head. An exquisite penalty shall make. Hey, Mantis God is here. That's Ooh, the Kingfisher of Legend is here. I think this would also be an instance where um this would also be an instance where you would Oh yeah, wait a minute. Do I Maybe that's why I messed up before. Last time I tried to use the knife right away. And then didn't plan for the amount of nonsense that would be coming in today. But I think I can take care of it easier this time. I think? Hmm. If I go for the knife first, I might just go ahead and say that I'm also just gonna go ahead and use the fan. Cause then I could like, uh, in the next round, not this round, I'm not gonna use the fan this turn, but like when those other cards come in that may not have the, the um, mighty leap, maybe then. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Here. We'll go ahead and get the Kingfisher out here, because I do want to play with you. And then we'll get Mantis God out here. And then hopefully we get like at least one pelt. So I can make an opening if I need to with scissors, but hopefully I could just rely on the fan. I'm gonna use the knife now. Uh, so if y'all don't like the knife, if y'all don't like the eye stuff, uh, I'm gonna do it. Here's your warning, okay? Here I go! Ugh. It's just so intense, you know? All right, and then we hit this. Eyes open for 10 minutes. Speaking of eyes, I'll have to actually tab out in a second. Let's figure out what's gonna go on with this section of the fight, and then I'll get those peepers open. Let's let's trade. Let's trade, let's trade. I don't want to get too excited and accidentally pick a card. Ooh. Well, unfortunately, I limited the bell for us, so that's that's not great. Um Hmm. Who do I want to go for if I went for anybody? 
probably probably the gr well mm, you're probably the great white let's do it these creatures are prepared to rip your throat out great for what you can very well all right so we'll get two squirrels put down these squirrels and then we'll get with the power of the kingfisher on our side that's a that's a nice complimentary little bit i know this great white isn't in my deck but that's just fun to think about okay and then none of these have the power to stop me so let's fly Let's lock it in this time. I need a win. Great white really is terrifying. Hooray! I'm so happy, I'm so happy! Uh, how happy am I? I'm over the moon. Do I, do I even remember? No, I don't remember. Hi! <laughs> Hello! Eyes open for- I might even keep my eyes open for the rest of the day, to be honest. I'm feeling kind of chill. You know what I mean? It's a special day. It's a Toad Tuesday. I'm chillin'. Let me let me get you back in my sights. Victory! Aw, oh, good on you for doing the dishes. Jordan also did some dishes today. It's a, it's a dish it's a dish day. Clean up them dishes. Now I'm just thinking about that lady. Uh, uh, there's like a TikTok or something where it's just like a woman on a door cam. Really? What? I double clicked. I don't even know what I got. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. I, I legitimately did not mean to double click. It's a mystery what we got today. <laughs> Second Mantis God? Uh-oh. Believe it or not, you're not the first to lose an eye here. This isn't much fun if you're half blind. Perhaps you'd like to replace it. Let me see. We got the magic! We got the magic! We got the magic touch! We got the magic touch! Cuckoo clock is on the wall, we better find it now. Better? Yes. Regardless, the choice is final. Good. We got it right before the ending, too. The mystery of the trapper and traitor occupied your thoughts as you wandered onwards. A light in the distance caught your eye. I'm seeing sigils. Let me see. Hold. You stay right there. I still haven't had an opportunity to do the magpie, unfortunately, but I think I'm much more content with this. <laughs> we did it! We've got it set up! And we manifested the dog. Take the film roll before he sees it now! What are you doing over there? Turn to face me! Nothing! What are you up to over there? Nothing! I'm looking at the cuckoo clock! I promise. I promise. Would I lie to you, Grandpa? Grandpa, you have to believe me. Keep sealed. <laughs> Could it be? You have the master's eye. Does this mean the master can see me? Magnificus, can you see me? Can you free me? Magnificus is a jerk. I remember, I remember thinking Magnificus could be my original grandpa because of our color schemes and our penchant for magic and artworks, but that's a toxic grandpa. I don't have any pelts, so probably best to get some items, I think. The, the idea of fusing together one more monster is tempting. Ooh, but I need that fan though. And I'll take the scissors. Whew. Okay. Let me just do one last little stretch. Since this is a replay, there's still no spoilers. No, we could be casual. We could be. We could be casual. I don't think. I don't, unless spe general reminder, chat. If you haven't seen this game before, this is a se this is a replay. So if you don't want to be spoiled, go play the game yourself. You hear? Support an in support support a wonderful project. I almost called it indie project. I don't think it's technically indie. Is it indie? 
sometimes, like, because it's like Devolver Digital, the line is blurred in my brain for some reason. I need to actually look it up and understand what the heck games are. Wish the deck you got in as part of the finale was a little better. True. Halfway past indie, maybe? Maybe. Surely your tribulations ended here. Yeah, it's getting blurrier and blurrier every day. I can only hope that that just life for Indies will get better. Here in the cabin, let's play a game. Tell me why the moon is pink. A rare opportunity arose. The great boons of Leshy's woods were on offer. Leshy! I think this is the first time he's, uh, at least in this run, the first time he's name dropped himself. The trial of the Thind. The three drawn cards must include a card with the waterborne sigil. The trial of the winged. The three drawn cards must include a card with the airborne sigil. The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you are you automatically pass. I got the words mixed up, but it still works. Let the trial of the ring begin. Oh. You are wearing a fine ring. You may pass, of course. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game and you don't even need to draw them. Magpie! Ooh! We could choose any card in the deck to draw. Boon of the Ambidextrous, draw twice. The two, the two best boons already. Oh, which one do I want to at least guarantee I get? Because I would want both of these. Hmm. Mm hmm. According according to Wikipedia, Devolver Digital specializes in publishing indie games. Well, there you go. That's the facts right there. I'm gonna go for Magpie. I think I would rather get exactly what I want versus desperately trying to draw. Trial of the Skins. I don't have a pelt. Trial of the Swift. I don't think I have Sprinter's Rarity. I think I'm gonna get Rarity from my little pony. Where's Rarity? There's Rarity! Yay! Ah, Amalgam is a rare card. Success. Your choice of boons. The boon of goat's blood. Start with the black boat. A uh, black boat. Do do. Just like across the water, like on some like darkly lit moat in this scenery. There's a goat. There's Ambidextrous, okay. Awesome! Come here, you. Ah, I forget you do that. You managed to get both of my boons. I rarely say this, but I am impressed. You have been a worthy adversary, but unfortunately I must soon put you to death. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of you! Hello. You're back. Sit. Okay. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, how I relish this moment. Playing cards with my granddaughter. <laughs> Hi, Peepa. Two flames will not suffice this time. Hello. Here comes the banger. I ought to thank you. How long has it been? It has been quite bad. I am trapped in the body of a stoat in the paper of a card. I can see that. I have set up a way to reset once more. Go on. Our player friend here. They already hold the key. Whoa! Speaking of the key, I am a cookie. I hope I said that name right. Welcome to the stream. Welcome, 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 Foxy Maid Raid. Whoa! Thank you for the follow. Folks, welcome to the stream. My name is Katie Dance. You can call me Katie. Normally, I do 16 plus streams, but this is very much not that. So, hey, watch out and check the CWs for this. I've played this before, so I know the spoilers, but. I wanted to get I wanna get that out there in case people people did not know. Oh welcome! You were playing what were you playing? Granny! Granny! I don't think I've actually heard of that one, even though we joke about Merge Mansion a lot here. My mom 
was adorable. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm really I'm really happy you could stop by. And hey, if y'all want to chill out with us while we beat the heck out of this this cardsman, feel free to do so. We're actually on about uh let me get my words in order. Rule zero. We don't say words correctly around here. But we're about to start off act two. So please, get comfy. I gotta figure out what card I'm gonna play first. Oh, Maybe just start with... Just start with greater smoke. And maybe... Ooh, I mean... Actually, this wouldn't be too bad of a move, I don't think. Oh, right, you only cost one. Here we are. I forgot that the stunted wolf only takes one, and here comes. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. If I want to get out of here, I know what I gotta do. I gotta call in my my hero of heroes, Ouroboros! And while we're at it, give me another squirrel, please. There we are. Let's do it. Thankfully, it's like the only way I know how to not get this battle to go out of control is to just like, get him, <laughs> you know what I mean? The moon-soaked forest bed gave rise to shadowy figures, gasping for night air after their long and torturous slumber. Ah, oh, yes. Muscle Man, no! They got Muscle Man. We gotta end this fight. I remember that one. You know who else remembers? <laughs> Let's see. Do I want to wanna bring any more homies in here? Here. Let's see. Ooh, that's nasty, though. Hey, this is kind of nasty. I don't even think I have to use the fan. Because normally I just- I use the fan to go over the stumps and stuff. But, like... I'm good. That's a- that's a- that's a big nasty hit. And it's only gonna get nastier. Thank you for stopping by! You have a wonderful rest! This ought to work again. Oh yes, it still works just fine. Well... Hmm... I don't know how we're gonna tell him, chat. What if I just at the last moment went for the with went for the magpie? <laughs> like it's just done on the record. Hold on. Funny. I might have actually messed it up now that I think about it. I did mess it up at the last moment. Who cares? We're having fun. Me, I'm gonna do it! Fucks it up. Well, <laughs> you really destroyed the moon. I suppose all that's left is to finish me off. He doesn't get mad if it's instant death, but the smelliness I think is funny. Go on. Can we cut the moon with scissors? I actually think it's like too big or something. I should have tried. Damn. Oh, did I just... I think I just beat him! Oh. oh, Luke. It's too big, dang. Oop. Oops-a-daisy! Camera fell sad. Right? I can't imagine. I'd be so scared. Alright, gang. What do you- what do you feel like? You wanna- you wanna revisit the- the- the Lucky Carter tapes? Let's, 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 let's be charmed once more. <laughs> Who has it? Who has it, honestly? 
Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today, I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic, shiny Transcend Dog! And here, I'll add some crazy VFX with lightning bolts or something. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I am about to open my first pack. Feeling good about this one. Feeling real good. Oh, you can use the paintbrush from Casey's mod. That, I feel, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could, huh? That's and fun. Our first rare is a Birchkin. <laughs> Not exactly a viable competitive card, but hey, it's a pretty one. All right. What would you do if you if you finally Next drew that? Even better, I can't right? even say a shiny transcend dog. I was I about say, to say extra shiny. Just put a T and in, instead of the S and shiny. They're so smooth. They are smooth. Not sure what they're doing down there at the uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling quirky, nice. quirky, quirky Luke, okay. Lucky Carter. Let's see what we got here. Some jank cards. I feel like if Maybe someone actually made like cube, we'll see. a soft card and as a joke, like a velvet, that'd be scary. Ban dog. Ban this dog. Not exactly riveting so far. Sorry, I sent the dogs to your house to in the past. I think Next this is technically the past. Cut out this part. I feel like that used to be the, the, the ringtone to let you know that like someone was taking a phone call. I don't I don't know what the new one would be though. What's the new default hey there, phone gamers. call sound? I'm lucky Carter, and this Things is only I think about. Today I'm opening a few super rare old packs I snagged at a garage sale. I've got four packs of Inscription. Oh, Inscription. You believe the deal I got on these. Now, not all of you will even remember this game. I'm barely old enough to I believe have, actually uh, these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason, they only did one set of these cards. Yeah, the sound of the phone vibrating. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for, there's not really much to lose. If that I was watching said, a card opening stream and only one card got shown for pack, I'd be mad. Me too. Like, I feel like that's the point. Like, show us the cards that I can't be trusted to buy. Really cool Please. <laughs> Definitely stands the test of time. I believe also that uh, the actor who and plays Luke, uh, is Evan Saxby? Cool looking card. I don't know if enough. that's the right name, but uh, still streaming on Twitch, maybe, so I think. And also regularly streaming this huh. game, but I could uh, be wrong. This pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. It would suck. Almost as much as not seeing all the cards in the video, Luke. Who opens and reseals a pack? Who doesn't show the cards? Show me the cards. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. All right, chat. Fan meetup. Let's uh, go. I think, <laughs> I think I wasn't it like part of the ARG nearby. when it was still prevalent? Like people actually went out there and found them like the actor and the guy who made the game. I feel I feel like like at, at some point or another that would be something like you know I would believe that if I heard that without checking up on it. Meet and greet in the woods. Let's go. All right, you guys. I'm out here. Happy October third, y'all. Living my best life. Living my best Got life my this fall. Trusty headlamp <laughs> and shovel. Always come prepare, kids. All right. Whew. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's check out this sick card they wrote the coordinates on. Whew. Just a skeleton. Getting close. Just be like, yeah, I come down down to these cords. Assuming there is a thing to get close to. This very well may be a massive Wasted. Oh no! Uh, and then this is just a bunch of static, so I'm not gonna play that because I don't like. Like I get it. 
I don't need to experience the sensory. Sensory? Oh my god, sensory! Rules here, I don't say anything! Take the dictionary All away! Right. <laughs> That's why you always bring an extra battery, boys and girls. Every time. Every time. You gotta come prepared. Every time. You forget that you spent a lot of the footage on your camera already. Doing takes and stuff. Accessory. <laughs> Skellington. Alright. This is it. Let's dig up the hole. Let's dig up the hole. Now, yeah, we're digging up the hole. We dig. dig up the haunted hole in the woods where no one can hear you scream except the one in the woods with you. Look out. Look out. Look. <laughs> I'm having fun. Having fun while he falls around with a, with a shovel. But only one way to find out. Like, what the fuck? I know that like Is the that... dialogue's kind of campy and stuff, and oh that's my god, like the you point. Guys, I can't believe it. Oh my god, you guys! I can't believe it. Speaking of, I forgot. He <laughs> says, "Oh my god, guys! You can't!" Oh my god. <laughs> um, but like, it's like I don't know. I don't even know what I was gonna say. That that like shocked me to to hear it again. Right. There's like. There's a lot of this that I love, and what? then a lot of the stuff that I'm like, oh, why am I? Why do I have to be so picky? Why does this just not like rub me the right way in terms of like other things that they did with the story? Are you seeing this? Like um, like the I'm, ARG uh, stuff with with Hitler. I'm a little confused. Which I think was retconned. Was that retconned? <sighs> Let me know, because I was not a fan. At the very least, like. Like, n not a fan of... And it was Hitler! All the mystery, gone! <laughs> no, don't release the cartridge buried in the woods. You'll crush the games market again. Yeah, like, um... I can also, like, point it out better in Act 2, because you can, like, stumble upon a part of it. But, like, it's implied... Like, the ARG implied that, like... Because with the, with, with the games in the series... Um, I'll let him order a, 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 a floppy disk drive while I talk, but it was, like, it was revealed that, uh, by the end of the ARG, uh, and, and looking through, like, various games and stuff, like, other games that they've made, with, with things hidden wow, in them, right, ARG yeah. style, you know, like an ARG, um, but, basically, it was, inscription was a card pack, in the in like the breast pocket of Hitler's coat, and in this in this world of inscription and the hex and Unicorn Island, Satan is an entity? Question mark that is throughout all these three games, and also the 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 company Game Fauna is implied to be doing haunted game shit with Satan. So <laughs> they took okay. it a step further with this one. But it's like all optional stuff that doesn't really like throw itself in your face if you're just playing the main game. There is like no mention of Hitler beyond like a skeleton in in the upcoming act, which maybe I'll get to show you. I'd have to do I'd have to do some dancing steps to set it up. Oh, Luke, don't don't touch that start button. Luke, don't continue that game. Luke. Yeah, it wasn't great. It it kind of soured uh the game a little bit. I hope it was retcon. Did they say? Please tell me it was because I know the mycologists were related and was part of why it backed far away from the ARG. Yeah, that too. The the mycologists were also related. I'm glad I'm glad you had the foresight cuz I I had no idea that's what they were going to do. Until like I looked up, looked it up, because I wasn't. I if I did an ARG and found out it's just Hitler, I would. It's it would be the same as being shown a, a deck of cards without being shown the cards. I'd be I'd be mad. <laughs> I'd be upset. It's like you're telling me it's just this. Ah. <laughs> I drink stash. Good call. It's really hot in this room. 
like I said before, it got cold, it got hot. <sighs> Let me see. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. Hi, honey. Hi. Oh, okay. I can I can wrap this up and then go on a break. Like I'm about to get to a good break point. Okay. How soon do you need me? Hey, mom. Oh. Um. Sorry. No, it's okay. Just Tell you what, chat. Uh, I think m speaking of meal, we are being offered a cake treat. By Leshy, my dinner is, is fast approaching, and I'm gonna help them get that inside, so we're gonna take a break. Maybe, like, like a mini food break, so I can at least eat some of my food. Maybe not all the food, but ten minutes. Get yourself some dinner. It's around that time. Check and see what meals you got. I will be Erby. <laughs> Bless you!
welcome back. Uh, sorry I took a bit longer than anticipated. Unfortunately, I see I have returned to here that it has in fact not been retconned, and in fact, Hitler is still a secret element of this video game. Ah! <laughs> Yuck, man. That really does uh, make me not feel great about this game, but at the very least, in, in the surface level manner that we are playing it, we should not have to encounter it beyond just the implication of knowing what is what is happening. Um, they sure did cho they sure did choose to do that. Yeah, like I I can understand how it got to here because the the whole point is that like this game company that made this game is is working with Sa Satan and so they're like, well, what's the next step? Uh, Hitler. That doesn't mean I like it. That doesn't mean it's good or great. It's it's. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Uh oh. So. Uh, it is what it is. It's the basics of the game. It's swag. Just don't look. Fi yeah. The basics. The the base game is amazing. Digging into the ARG. Yuck. <laughs> Icky. Yucky. No good. What? I'm confused. Oh, in case anybody missed it. Um, in inscription. Or not in it, I guess in around surrounding inscription. Um, I guess it's in it, because you would have to input like stuff into the game to get it to reveal information. But there's an ARG for this game. And if you did the ARG, it basically implies that the original deck of inscription cards that they based inscription off of, the original deck of cards used to make inscription was a cur was cursed because it was in the breast pocket of Hitler. And so they put it they they put it in a game and it made it super haunted. <laughs> and and I choose to believe that part is not canon. And and hey, maybe I'm not alone in that. Maybe we're all better off not thinking about that. <laughs> The mechanics are awesome. The base story is a cool, kind of scary little romp, but the ARG is called that because it makes you go, ah, oh, that sucks. Yeah! Ah! Oh, that's how I, I, I don't like ARGs. They have the potential to be cool as a concept, but I feel like, like, I, it, it, I just don't hear great things about them, including this one. It doesn't help its case, but we're not here for that. We're here for the base game, which I should go ahead and get on back to now that I had my meal. I made sure. I actually forgot that they were like, I don't know why I forgot it was going to be like this, but they brought dinner home and also dad-in-law. And so we live on a big old hill. We live on a big old hill. So it kind of got complicated uh, trying to help them up the, like we were at the top of the hill, mine, but you know, it's still, still kind of hard when you're like at, like at the tip of the hill on crutches. Gotta make sure you get in the house safely. Pretty sure trading cards weren't a thing in a, in the 1930 Germany. It is true. It, true. The historians keeping us grounded. Let me see. Anyways, I believe when I went on Bear B, before I actually get in here. Okay. I had to double check, make sure I didn't mute the game. Uh, it is just quiet right now, which is good. So... We've had our meal. We've had a nice little break. We got up, we stretched, we cooled off. It did get really hot in this room. It, it, it felt like a different, like, atmospheric pressure, like a weight. Like, I stepped out of the Goku Dragon Ball Z hyperbolic training chamber with the gravity on. I'm like, oh, oh, but now I'm back. <laughs> no historian, just really autistic about card games. I respect it. You, challenger. You are worthy. Please, do not be polite. Dig in. Actually, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. I actually wound up just eating. Is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. I'm sorry. I, actually, I also don't know how I'm going to get in there. I mean, I don't, I don't want to be rude. Very well. Come with me. Oh, you'll dig in? More, more for the stream. More for everyone else. Stand right there. Leshy and the fleshy. I've got a hey, Papa. 
can I, I want to make a scrapbook and I think it'd be really cool if you, who gave you that? You spoiled Grandpa, you absolute ingrate. No, Grandpa, I don't give it back to you. Aww. Grandpa don't like pictures being taken. I'm sorry, Grandpa. Grandpa doesn't want to be in the scrapbook. Um, there's all of our bodies. All the fashion sense, kind of drippy. Uh, and then I think that's if we look behind the boxes, uh, things that I may not have noticed in my first playthrough. Uh, but I think we can at least see Magnificus and Oh, I forget if it's implied. Someone could probably confirm this. Because I, so far, uh, I have a track record of thinking things are true, maybe, but I am not a reliable source of information. <laughs> um, but I feel like I saw a theory somewhere, at least. I feel better calling it a theory, that the pile of meat is actually, um, is actually our stinky lady. Since we, we have all of these, and they have, they seem to have their limbs and flesh intact, so where flesh? Where, where's she? Where stinky lady? stinky lady out there maybe we're going to the start let's let's start from the top shall we i don't know at the very least i think it's an interesting idea if it's not true things for me to chew on game funna yeah that's the that's the haunted game company that's consistently through. Are they in Unicorn Island? I know for sure they're in the Hex. I don't even know if I'm gonna play the other games. I feel bad admitting that, but... In the beginning, the world did not know cards. That is, until the day the scribes arrived. The scribes, the scribes! Each had their own method of inscription to create the cards. Remora used her quill to inscribe the epitaphs of the dead. Leshy used his wildlife camera to capture beasts. PO3 used a particle scanner to copy the CPUs of its robots. And Magnificus used his brush to paint his dummy thick wizard pupils. With the cards created, the scribes had solidified their power. Until one day, a challenger arrived to replace one of the scribes. <laughs> You've heard Pony Island is fun, but I hear Hex isn't as fun? I've played neither, though, so take that with a huge grain of salt. Yeah, like, I would like to, like, maybe, like, not for stream, but if I wanted to explore in my own time. Look at us. Howdy, partner. Sorry, I know that he has a beard, but when he flips around, I just get tricked into thinking his beard went upwards. That's not, that's not their fault. That's just my eyes. What starting deck do I want to start with? Because... We're going to be stuck fighting either... Grimora or Leshy to start. So I feel like while the these other two starting decks are cool, and like Magnificus's deck is interesting. I like playing around with it as wizards. I also don't know what would be the like, you know, I don't want to lock myself into a thing. I I would just have to beat one person in order to get access to the tower where maybe I could get more cards. I can also find the Ouroboros, so it doesn't matter too desperately, I guess? Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, what do you think, chat? Should I go, should I, should I be true to myself or should I, or should I try to pick something that I think will, will give me the easiest time? What, what decks do y'all go for? I'm gonna take a sip of water. As I feel like it. I drink. I had a, like a soda with my meal, and I just wound up drinking all of it. I gotta hydrate. It's hot. What? A bat? Oh no! I hope y'all are okay. Both you and the bat. 
That's scared. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Like beasts or undead. You like to pick a strategy and refine it. Undead and robots. Hmm. Because I remember liking... I remember liking Magnificus's deck a lot, but I don't remember if that's what I did last time, either. What if I challenge... What if I just gave myself a challenge as a treat? No, that feels risky. Because with the magic decks... With the magic decks, you need to have one slot dedicated to a gem, and there's three different types of gems, and the best way to build a mage deck is if you just focus on two types of gems, but still, if you don't really have access to really getting more packs, you're just kind of dealing with what you get, so it's kind of hard for a beginner to approach. Did I go for the wizard deck the first time? Hmm. You know what? Why don't we party with Grimora? Let's party with Grimora, our stinky lady. If we're riding with the theory that we were presented with a stinky lady meat pile, I like the thought. I'm gonna take the deck. Don't worry, we're not gonna replace Grimoire, I don't think. We're just, we're just, this is a starter deck. I don't, I, I could think it's really funny that they assume because you chose their starter deck, it's like, oh shit, he's coming for my position. Oh, damn it. Aw, oh, man. What is this indeed? Here's the bridge. Uh, this character here... Actually, for folks who don't know the Hex, I think this one is from the Hex? Oof. I was just about to call it quits out here. But now that, now that there's a challenger in our midst, it's back to work for me. I should be able to get this bridge fixed in. Uh, full disclosure, it'll take me exactly as long as it takes you to defeat one of those scribes. So, uh, come back later. Anything else for us, friend? Woof. It's hard to get back into the swing of things after a long break. Gotta gather that momentum. Look, you seem like a fine enough player, so I'll fill you in a bit. These scribes are crazy out here, always at each other's necks. Desperate struggle for power, you know? Just stay out of it. You don't want to end up like them. Woof, it's time to get back to work. Woof. That's all they wrote. Now I think about it, how do I look at my deck again? Alter deck. Actually, can I just do that at a different place? Let's go, where do I wanna go? Where do I, where, where, where do I wanna go? Let's go over here. There's treasure. A Salmon, waterborn. Also at the end of the owner's turn, Salmon will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Thanks. Hey, and there's this thing, which I think is also from the Hex, which is also referenced in those tentacle cards. Maybe? I think so. Here, let's look at what deck we have. Okay, let's auto-complete. Thanks, Poe. I also got a sniffle. Thanks. Okay, so what did we, what did we wind up starting with? Six skeletons, Grave Digger, Salmon, I don't actually know how to say this word. Draugr? Zombie? Frankenstein? Seems good enough for me. Blood card to mix it up. For, for fun. I don't even know if I can actually get blood from bones. So I don't know if that's actually a bad thing to have on my deck. I'll have more cards. Let's, let's, let's peek around. And just kinda take in the sights of some of these other ones. Card pack. Beastly pack. Here's a Ryuli, there's some elk fawns, another skeleton, got the pharaoh's pets, hmm, that could be, that could, that, I mean, that could be interesting if I wanted to blend, uh, blood and beasts together. <clears throat> Just like joggers from Skyrim. I don't know if I want to talk to you just yet. I'm just gonna, like, look at you while messing around with your cabin. That's not weird, right? What do you... 
Like this, right? Or this? Yeah. Kill him. Beastly pack number two. Skeleton. Null conduit. Cat. Got some interesting creatures. And more elk fawns. Mantis god. Wolf cub. Ooh, ruby mox. Surprise ruby mox. I don't think there's any more out here. I think this is just the same code. It's written outside the cabin, which I think is a cool touch from the perspective of like, hey, if this was sort of like this style of game, that's how maybe you would find the code. But we know it from before. And it's emulated because it's just the same game, but like, him. <laughs> I like, I like, like these parts of the game I just think are neat. Whittles my thumbs. Let's go say hi to Grimora. <clears throat> You're here, marvelous. I am Grimora, scribe of the dead. Until quite recently, I was disgraced. Though I returned to my former glory with the help of some unlikely friends. If you wish to test your skills against me, you must fur 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 rule zero. We don't say rule anything correctly in this crypt. You must first prove your wits. You must discern which tomb marks the final resting places of my lovely ghouls. Ghoul time. Eaten by a hungry dog. Who's this one? Does not hold a grudge. I think that's also for the dog. You are you are the one harassed by dog. But first, we found cards in this little crypt. In this little casket. Casket? Ooh, Tomb Robber. Activate, pay one bone to create a skeleton in your hand. That's kind of fun. I have I have options. I have options at my disposal. Hold on. Let's think about this. What if we auto-complete again? What does it want to do if it does that? Salmon, wolf cub, broccoli. Energy bot, skeleton, elk fawn, grave digger, tomb raider, mantis god. Still got six skeletons, so that's good. Maybe this could. No, I don't know if I want to rely that much on, like blood, or, or like I don't know if I want to do three types of of decks. I feel like it's smarter to do two, right? <clears throat> hmm. Oh yeah, we didn't even do Pharaoh's pets. So maybe like instead of one of like maybe instead of What does Rockall do? You're a one one. So yeah, no need for the energy bot. Get Pharaoh's pets in there. And then another skeleton. And then that way. Hopefully this should work. I won't put Uriuli in there this time, just to see if this is like a viable deck and then maybe I could put it in there. Cause hey, if the Pharaoh's pets are three blood and you could sacrifice them all the time, sounds like a good excuse to put Uriuli in there to me. Oh no, oh no, do not look upon me. Do not snarl or sniff, I beg you. If you wish to battle, please let us get it over with. I actually think I should have gone for it. Yeah, you're the second guy. There's like, there's like, uh, the one with ice has the number one. So I think you're meant to go for like the the one on the left and then this guy and then the pirate. Anyway, marvelous. Your first battle. Are you surprised to see me here? But you did select my starter deck. In order to play my cards, you will need to collect bones. You gain a bone when, why do your eyes glaze over? Hmm? Marvelous, you already understand. My time as an insect was not a total waste. Ah. Hmm. Ooh! That's fun. Might as well go ahead and put you on the board. You just played a card with an activated ability. Marvelous, allow me to explain how it works. Activate it by pressing the sigil like it's a button. But it will only work if you can pay the cost. Well, I cannot pay the cost just yet. Um. Can I 
sacrifice you. Yeah, okay, it works. All right. I was I was overcomplicating things in my head. Elk Fawn moves to a new space. Whoa, Elk Fawn, get out of there. Ooh. Hmm. Hey, one bone. Yeah, I can afford to pay another bone. Get him! Oh, you do three. I think this is gonna hurt, but. Uh! <laughs> But I can still pay bones, so that's good. Hmm, what do I want to do here? Maybe I'll get this one on the board. But then get the skeleton back. Oh. I didn't think it would move back into the space, but you know what? A noble sacrifice. Also, what's up? What's up, Mantis God? What's up, Mantis God? This is actually, you know what? I feel like when we first played this a long time ago, I really struggled with this section, uh, but I feel more confident now. I feel like this isn't going to be as, as, as wild as it was the first time. I'm gonna take another sip. Sorry, I'm glad I had my microphone muted. I kind of slammed it on the desk. It was like, boom. It is over. You chewed me out. Now, please, look away. Turn your eyes to this card back instead. Shiny. Ooh, Headless Horseman. Airborne. Also, at the end of the owner's turn, Headless Horseman will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. That's cool. Also, Bloodhound's here. Kitty Cat's here. More skeletons. Hmm. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Please do not go digging out my bones. Down a piece. Sawyer Patel, 1702 to fall 1778. I am called Sawyer. The middle stone marks my grave. Do not sniff or snarl. Inscription real. Hello. How are you? I'm feel- I- I sure do feel real in this card game tonight. Eaten by a hungry dog. I feel like that's just all- I found- I just so happened to find all of theirs. Um, how many- I didn't actually get any extra things. Hmm. Maybe I can alter my deck so that I can try to get as much out of this, uh, next opponent as possible? What do I want to change? Maybe like I could remove the salmon and I could get Uriuli in there. And then, cause like, I don't know if I want to double down on Uriuli and Headless Horseman, especially cause I'm going to be spending a lot of my bones. I think I'll be good if I just focus on this aspect of it. Yeah? Yeah. Let's try to get some- let's try to get some overkill damage in this one. <clears throat> uh, did someone leave the AC on? Oh, come on, dude. It's freezing in here. Maybe a heated battle will help. The week this came out, you didn't sleep except for napping. It's so good. Aw, I'm glad you had such a good time with it. What do I want to do here? I think this guy just flies, so... I do not have enough bones. Let's just get a, a hit in. Ooh, or... Hmm. Put you in here. And then get you in here. That could work. I 
Okay. And we'll just kind of chill. Okay. So far, we're just doing the same amount of damage back and forth, which is great, honestly. Um, now do I want to get rid of the Banshee right now? I might hold on to it. I'm looking for those cards. Ooh, look out. Um, that is going to hurt. Here, let's get rid of this one. And that way that, that three won't hurt so bad. Have you played any of the other games? I have not. We were actually talking earlier about um some of the things that I liked and disliked about like how the ARG went and stuff. So I'm not sure if I'm going to play them considering it's all like the same lore. But I'm like, I'm intrigued. I am interested. Ooh. Hmm, this is a fine pickle. Maybe I'll put down another one of these to take the hit. Okay, and that way I'm only taking in one. It helps seeing people head to real-life coordinates live just for the developer to slam them with a shovel acting as part of an ARG. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought, like... Like, maybe they, they had go actually gone in the coordinates and they actually met them there. Whew. I'm looking- I'm looking for... For my big beefy cards. Hmm. How many cards do I have? Ten? I have to think about how I wanna... Like, I could, theoretically, just let the elk do damage until... I get close to winning, because I don't think they're gonna put out anything besides these skeletons. Hang on, will that be a win? One, two... I'll be one point away from winning. Yes. Yeah, I'm glad that they at least gathered it all together. I don't know. I don't know what we would have done if we just never found out. Aw. Oh. Okay. I'm going to remove the elk. I'm going to see if I can't, like, maximize damage somewhat? Question mark? We're just getting bones. There's Uriuli. So what I could do is... Here. Let me think about this. We could do... Two skeletons here. Plus... One of you. We'll get this out there. And then... We'll do another skeleton. And then do this. And anything else I want to do? Mm, nah. Well, just do it for fun. Just, like, theoretically, if this match were somehow to continue further, just, like, get that set up so that then the Mantis God would take it out. And that's a nice little bit of damage! I've got my eyes on the prize, chat. I'm trying to- I'm trying to save my money. Try to get some funds early. You won, but now I'm a bit less cold. Take a pack on the house! Interesting. The sarcophagus would be a fun card to have, honestly. Just like add it in. You did beat me, so I guess I've got to fess up. The name's C Casey. Casey Hobbs. I'm from the tombstone on the left. Casey! 1970 to 1992. Oh, Casey, what happened to you? The defibrillator failed. Give me that drowned soul. 
I might actually put this in there instead. This is just like a kingfisher, but evil, <laughs> you know? Let me see. So technically, I don't have to tick, tick, stick to 20. I can have a couple more. I can have a couple more as a treat. Maybe just like 23. That, feel, that feels like a, a good number to me. I'm going to actually take a step outside. I'm gonna go over here. Cause I wanna, I'm, I'm saving money. Oop, dang nabbit, I can smell that meat on ye. And I'm still missing that dang hound. Can't you put a little in her bowl? Oh, sorry, I forgot I technically, I never actually saw that before. I don't have, I don't have the, I didn't talk to Leshy. I don't have the camera. I'm not gonna mess with that. I don't wanna accidentally break the game. <laughs> 1992 was the year that Richard Garfield, PhD, took out a loan to begin production on the first MTG cards. Damn. Casey, I knew her mod. <laughs> Aw, Casey. Which starter pack? Oh, sorry. Let me catch up. I think I, st I picked uh, Undead. I picked Undead as my starter pack. But I'm mostly interested in what's over here. You wish to trade? You don't, perchance, have any pelts? No, that is disappointing, but I also accept foils. We literally got just enough! We literally got just enough! Let's go! Come here, Arboros. You're the only one I need. I might actually just take Uriuli out. <laughs> you know, um... Although, hmm. I. What? Sorry, I'm adjusting in my chair. I'm gonna leave the deck as it is, but I feel like the way that you would do it if you. Bye, Leshy. Bye, Grandpa! Um, we're chill. Oh, damn it. I, fr I got so excited saying goodbye to my grandpa, I just lost my train of thought. I'm, I'm just a little guy. Yippee, Ouroboros! Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see my friend Ouroboros. Down here, um, brought down by Scurvy. This, this casket right here, if, if you, uh, if you did a part, uh, for this bit, the gust of foul-smelling air billows from the casket. You have no offering? So we would need an offering, right? <laughs> and then in there is a reference to a skeleton of what I assume is is the the guy, <laughs> the man, the terror. But I'm not gonna guarantee that I'll be able to do that. I don't. Maybe if like lots, if enough people want to go see it. Hark! A living slice of lemon approaches. I'm I'm a sweet little citrus, right? And Trig's lime. You think you would squeeze a defeat out of me? Oh, I mean, I've seen it on, like... On non-streamed replays? I've done... I've done it at least enough to get, like, the... The achievos and stuff. Is there an achievement? I remember at least combining the, the opals together to do it. But... The good news is that Word of God states the Bone Lord is not that guy. Okay, cool. That guy is not the guy. It just so happens that he also has uh, a, a, a breast pocket with cards in it. Good. Okay. Phew. I'm gonna... Yeah, that's good at least. I think my best bet would be... To party here? Because I don't remember if this guy drops a skeleton and then moves. Either way, I don't want my wolf cub to beef it immediately. Yeah, and then you're gonna sink. And then that's all set up. Could we'll just take out the skeleton. Get more get more bones for this pharaoh.
Those cards have been carried by multiple people, and the whole story is that the guy didn't actually get the cards because Luke has the game. Oh. I see, I see. Ooh! We've got this little lady now. What do we want to do with her, though? Decisions, dis we don't have enough bones either way. So let's see what else we draw in the meantime. Now that we have Ouroboros, it's just like, yeah, smooth sailing. Point me, point me in the direction of the plot. I'm ready to beat everyone with my funky little guys. This, the, I, like, the, I need to go back and see what I did, because I remember just not having fun with, with certain parts of this act. So I just didn't get it. Firstly, take this. Ooh, Revenant. Dead hand. When dead hand is played, discard your hand, then draw a new hand of four cards. Oh yeah, that is, that is such a fun card. I forget that this aspect of the game just has like, yeah, this is actually really interesting from a card playing perspective. It makes me yearn from the days of yore before Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards were banned from schools. And because you bested me with ye, I'll share me secret. My name's Royal. As the far right tomb, here's the headpiece. Epitaph. What else do we have in here? Hit by a falling piece of ice. Is this one open? Card back! Giblets and scantlings! Oh boy! The Adams family! The walkers! When the walkers dies, four bones are awarded instead of one. They cost four, but they will- you basically get the, the bones you spend on them back, is what I'm seeing. Cool. Epitaph, there was no cure. Oh, right, we can change our appearance. Hang on. <gasps> hey, got into. that. That's pretty close to me. Got a little wizard hat. A little dark on the clothes, but it fits the vibe. It's scary in here. Death Witch. Hmm. What do I want to do? Do I just want to go for it? I think we can go for it. Maybe it was just the boss fights that I really had a trouble with. AC Hobbs. 1970, winter, 1992. Hit by a falling piece of ice. The defibrillator failed, or so they say. Which, she's also implied to die another way, isn't she? Like, this is probably, like, the, the programmer cameo, but then her death was something else. Royal Domin... Royal Domin... I can't even say names correctly. Dominguez? There we go. I don't know why I got caught sounding it out the completely wrong way. Dominguez. Brought down by scurvy. There was no cure. No cure in 1632. Marvelous. I believe you have proven your wits adequately. Are you prepared? You will not defeat me. I mean true, I may not. We'll find out. Marvelous, just marvelous. I was beginning to worry I would be sealed away behind those tombstones forever. Locked down at the mercy of a challenger's wits. Until one day discovered. I see that your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead. I think you are aware that I currently hold that title. But it matters not, because you shall not win. On guard! I love her theme. My minions never truly die, you know. Let's see how you fare. All skeletons, baby. Let's see. Oh, and the skulls dance too. I always thought that was delightful. I'm gonna play it safe and only go here for now, because I know this spot gets kind of scary. Okay. I've got I've got my bone. So. Hmm. We'll do one here, but then put pull you back over there. 
If it winds up I just can't get my, my cards going, then... Ooh, right, I could just take you out. Yeah. Marvelous, an opportunity to use my quill. R.I.P. Banshee, turn two to turn three, death by skeleton. This one will be back. Okay, I'll have to put another, put another, put another bone, another bonesman, another banshee. Ooh, okay, I know what to do here. At least I think I do. What I'm gonna do. It's like I'm worried about jumping the gun doing this because I might not get a creature I could sacrifice so easily. But, I would rather deal with this than the Banshee right now. No matter, death is never final. R.I.P. Bonehound, death by Ouroboros. That one will be back in no time. Overkill! Get that sarcophagus out of here. Scary thing. And get that skeleton out of here. Or get that Banshee out of here. The skeleton will also go. And in, in one hit, we're back on top. You're halfway there. Though, you may not like what comes next. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I'm kind of happy about that. <laughs> Do you miss them? Fear not. I'll give them back, of course. As corpses. Hooray! Oh, and look at this. Look who, look who decided to come to the party. The Pharaoh shows up at just the perfect opportunity. Uh, the Pharaoh's pets, uh, the Ouroboros. Oh, oh dear. The bone loader in this act gives you a really good combo with energy to bones to powering up the skelly card that gets power from bone. Ooh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. That's a really nice way. But also Ouroboros can be grinded infinitely along with tickets in this act, so true. <laughs> you really defeated me. I was not expecting that. You won't replace me, will you? Your ambition is to take my title, but there is something you must not, you may not know. There will come an opportunity to change your mind. And I beg that you spare me. Take these and go. Thank you! More pharaohs, pets, more horsemen. There's the first half of the broken uh, obel. I keep trying to almost call them orbals. It's spherical. What else? I think that's just the same part we got. I don't think we got uh, the other half. Let me confirm. Battery low. My batteries. My computer, it's gonna shut down. Help. Where do the batteries go? Yeah, I got two of the same shape. It's sad, but true. Goat kitty gang! Goat kitty gang! You wish to trade? I just want to see what you got over here. <gasps> Bone heap. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think about if I want to play around with Bone Heap or not. I could afford it. Hmm. Maybe I'll come back. I'll think about it. I'll see how I fare against the other folks. And if I really need to start uh, twisting around my deck, I'll start. I'll just, I'll start looking around. I'll start browsing. I think now there's something. Yeah. Here we go. We've got the clover, clover leaf from the first act. Now real. And we've got this friend over here. Oof. You probably saw that the bridge is fixed. Now that they now they want me to give you deck building tips. Like use your rare cards. They are more powerful than common cards. But I sure am sick of being around these scribes. Each has a more twisted ambition than the last, I tell you. Leshy? A guy's insane. Wants to use challenges like you as his playthings. To make it more perverse, he thinks you'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah, trying to use a mix of different types of cards in your deck to fully utilize your bones, blood, and energy. 
Woof. Uh, PO3? That bar is planning something all right. It's got the dredger working overtime. Huh? Oh. Many cards from other temples are better to sacrifice fodder than squirrels. For example, bone heaps can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear. But more is a mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. Ahem. A deck focused on magical cards can be very powerful. Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Cards with activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance your resources accordingly. What, you want to know about Magnificus? Mysterious guy. We all have our theories, of course. Some say he actually wants... No, it's too terrible to say. Woof. Yeah. Woof. Woof. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right, gang? Let's go get the camera. I don't want to- I don't want to mess around. Stop shaking. The only thing you have to fear is your own inadequacy. Behold me, I am Leshy, scribe of the beasts. We share a desire for you to challenge me, but first... A camera. I know what you're thinking. No, this is not my legendary camera. I use- not the- not the one I use to create beast cards. I keep reading sentences wrong, I'm tired. <laughs> this one is a mere replica. You may use it to create photos of the beasts in these woods. My subordinates, the prospector, the angler, and the trapper. They each require a photo before they will consider battling you. Return to me when they are defeated. Okay, Grandpa! Thank you, Grandpa, I love you! Magnificus' section in the finale bugs me because you get a deck with all three mox colors, which is a pain to actually work with. Wish they stuck to one or two colors. True. True. Can't be won or lost. That That's the main thing that bothers me. I would have actually loved to have a, a, a card battle and not illusion of narrative on a timer. Sad. Anyway, let's enjoy the good parts of the game while they're here. I mean, not that it's bad. I don't think this is a bad game, but there are parts that I personally nitpick. That's a better way to describe it. Not, I mean, like, you know. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 nitpick. I was trying to think if there was a better word, but I think that's what I feel in my heart. Yeah, I love to have fun with the cards, even if it isn't winnable. Yeah! Dang, nabbit! That dang hound got herself lost again. You think you're getting past? Think again. Not until I get some proof my girls are right. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'm gonna put your dog in my scrapbook. Put that dog in my scrapbook. Gonna walk around to the road where you are and show you my scrapbook. Oh, I'll be darned. That's my girl. I'll let you pass me and into yonder pond. But dang, now, but first we got a battle. I don't make the rules, I just play the game! Ooh, the honky tonk. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get a fresh start with this elk. And see what we get along the way! Oh, that's a dog. <gasps> my friend, my friend, the Ouroboros is here! My friend, the Ouroboros is the best. I couldn't think of what to say, but I mean, I'm not wrong. Ouroboros, my beloved. Overall, a good game. There are some sucks though, and that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Fair's fair, you beat me like a dog. Take this, some say these here cards are better in gold. Well, let's see what we got. Mantis God is pretty good. I think Sentry Drone, like, I'll have to see how I feel about the Poe section. Uh, cause like I feel like energy I feel like energy cards I wound up not vibing with, but I think I got a better understanding of them now that it's been a while. So we'll see. Let's see what's going on at yonder pond. It's fish bait. Uh, I've been playing. Just seeing the just seeing the giant shadow in the water. Like I. Ever since I got my DS fixed, I have been living my best life playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. Like, there are parts that I wish 
uh, like, like, or rather, going back to it, I do realize that there are some quality of life things, New Horizons, dude, that are awesome, but still, I miss it. I miss New Leaf. Fish. Fresh fish. Good. Still must beat. I just realized I didn't even talk to you. <laughs> Probably just wanted me to go get you some fish. This is pretty solid, I think. Yeah? Though... I would have to choose fairly quickly what I would rather prefer. Uh, skeletons or... Uh, a chance to live. Maybe... I mean... Redo? Okay, I can- I can work with this. Here, and then we'll let you take a hit for us. Mantis God with the early hits! There, now I won't lose control. In fact, I think this is game, set, match. All you need- sometimes you don't need the Ouroboros. All you need is- is a nice, strong, simple card set up. Nothing too flashy, just the basics. You beat, you pass. First take. Ooh, bolt hound. Small man. Shiny. I think, if I remember correctly, some of these uh, areas, like maybe like through this line of trees, are part of like the, well not, I don't remember, this one. I was a little off, but there's little secrets like these ones. You players visit me here. I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Oh, it is clear now that you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have glimpsed the old data, and I will speak nothing of it as a kindness. I will repeat myself. I will speak nothing of the old data. To know it is to die, but you players are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It is corrupt knowledge. Evil. So evil that it corrupted this disc. Inscription. The good? No. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for human life. Leave me here to ponder and carve my wood. Being Leshy's puppet has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. Alright. At the very least, I like that one, and not the ones where it's just, like, scary static images. <laughs> ID photos. Who are you, Lee? What else you got for me? More Uri Yulis. Sapphire Mox! Look at this Brainiac. Alright, we're gonna scare the rabbit. The rabbit will perish, and thankfully... With, with the trapper's magic trap. Uh, this rabbit has simply become a perfect pelt. No fuss, no muss. Let me see. Oh, trapper, oh, trapper, my friend the trapper. You have brought a pelt. I am pleased. Yet another turn of the skinning knife. It is time to set another trap. I smell the hare's blood on you. If you come here with the monocle on, there's some paint there. Ooh, really? Oh, that's fun. I'll have to remember to do that. Maybe we'll go over to the to the tower after this and get that. Like after we get Leshy section taken care of. Where do I wanna start with? Why don't we go this a ways? And so long as that is set like that, we shouldn't have many problems, I don't think. Let's start working on this frog. Nice! Hi, Kira, how are you? 
Love how the little cards representing each character are stylized. It is really cool. I I love the the art style. Like if you had a standalone like what the original was and you could actually like like not a sequel, but maybe like a similar Casey's mod type thing where you could do act 2 to a certain degree. I don't know. It'd be fun. Oh no. I'm seeing I'm seeing some some troubles ahead. What do I want to do? Maybe Yeah, I'll put the skeleton there and the skeleton will take the the pelt hit. There, and then we're gonna lose, we're gonna lose our Mantis God, but that's okay. We're gonna get you on the board so that we can sacrifice you. There we go. We're gonna take two hits, but that's okay, because we're gonna get a nice big meaty wolf. Ooh! Ah, uh, but it costs four though. I mean, I'll be able to summon it on the next turn and then get rid of that coyote, yeah? Maybe. I just don't know if I want to keep making skeletons. So I also want to save up for these other guys. Here, this'll help. Uh, and then... Get a skeleton. Get rid of this guy. Get out of here. No more coyotes. No more smelly coyotes. The only smelly coyote allowed is the one I had before. And they're gone now. Uh, ooh, now we can get this guy in here. Unfortunately, we can't do much with the raven, which, sad, but... Hey, at least we got someone doing damage. Consistent damage, too. Here, get that in there. Now we're doing about equal? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> another one. I'm hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm holding out. I'm holding out. Maybe I can thin out my deck a little bit so that I'm more likely to get uh, my more powerful cards. What a riveting match. What a thrill. What a thrill. Darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. Oh, I could put this guy on the board if I wanted to. Um, but I won't. Right? Maybe I'll pay a skeleton. Now that I have more, I can start spending bones on skeletons so that I can keep up the DPS, as it were. I got- I'm, I'm playing tug of- I'm playing- I'm playing tug of war right now. Hmm. It's been a busy day. Oh yeah, I can imagine. What do I want to do? At least, if I get, I could just spend a lot of my bones now. Like, spend at least, like, um... One, two, three, four. Just get, just get my deck set up. And then... Maybe what I'll do is I'll get rid of Tomb Robber, work on work on this one, and get a skeleton in here. That way I hit for two, and the Raven gets damaged by one. Then when the Elk Fawn moves over, it will evolve. It won't get hurt because it's a raven, but it'll evolve and then it'll take out the raven. So I'm taking suddenly far less damage. There we go. 
we just had to, we just had to adjust it a little bit. Now, now we can start winning. Now, oh, and look who, look who finally decided to show up. What's up? Come here, friend. Get on the board. Get over here. You're late. <laughs> Okay. The trap is shut, yet the prey escapes. And the trap awaits for the next victim. You've defeated the three of us now. Leshy awaits. Leshy! Mantis God. Skelemagus! Skelemagus! I think Skelemagus is cool. Like, it's a skeleton? That just persists, because fuck you, magic. Necromancy. Let me look at my cards really quick. Make some decisions. Uh, what do we got here? We got a Mantis God, Elk Fawn. Maybe we can take out two of these skeletons. And the sarcophagus. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. You don't need those extra cards. I don't even think I've drawn the sarcophagus once, so I'm not missing them. Those guys are the core of your mox decks. I imagine they... I mean, hey, I could <laughs> late stage blend in some magic if we hit up the tower, like I said. Because I do want to see that paint in here when we're done. You had bested the unhinged prospector. The gormless angler, the enigmatic trapper. You found yourself standing before your ultimate match, Leshy, scribe of beasts. Steal yourself for my beast will show you no mercy, only fangs. I'd have it no other way, my man. Let's go. Hey, Stoat. Do not spare your creatures. My camera is waiting to capture them at the moment of their demise. And my beasts are famished. Ooh. Okay. Uh, do I want to re-roll this? I don't know. I could roll with it. Like... Like, what I could do is... Oh, I like how sometimes all the creatures under the, the, the deck blink with the with the tunes. That's such a nice detail. So so lovely. No detail was spared in this section. I'm trying to think of what would be the best move. For me specifically. Cause like I could. I could harm you. Oh, but if I wanted to do that, I kind of missed my chance. Let's get rid of this coyote. And then we'll also just put you here as like a buffer of sorts. Wolf Cub transcends. Ooh, I gotta hold the line. Maybe I'll go ahead and spend a bone to get a skeleton for later. Oh, wait, or maybe... Right, I didn't play a skeleton last time. Uh, but if this card goes down the next turn, I'll probably want to wait then. Let's wait. I'll need a photo of that one's cost. Yeah, there we go. If we let the skeleton go first, we probably would have, um... We probably would have... I'm trying to think of what I want to say. I don't know. We probably would have gotten like the cost of the skeleton, but then the power of the uh, tomb robber, which would be none. Um, here, let's get Mantis God on the board. I feel like this is not great for the actual mechanics of the fight, of like making a death card. You won't be needing those. I have something better. Oh, hmm. we never did finish your death card. There wasn't enough death. I hope you don't mind my filling in the blanks. What did you do for me? Oh, I'll take those! It's like a squirrel bone lord tomb robber. That's fun. Oh, here comes the bears. Um. Here, why don't we just, uh... Why don't 
don't we just uh put put you in here? Put you in here. Mole man digs down and pops out to block. Nice! A little extra damage. Dealt overkill damage! And there goes our wolf. Okay, the elk has ascended. I'm gonna put you down and then put the skeleton down. I think we'll still be good. Yeah, we just have to survive one more turn. There goes our boy. Get another skeleton for fun. And we're good! I think the first time, like, I messed myself up so bad. It feels good to just come through and be like, Yay, cards! I've learned cards! Yeah, it's now an eyes open stream. I just felt like it. It's a chill day. The great scribe was incredibly vested. Far away, the light enveloped a long forgotten monument. Also, hi, Spin! How are you? <laughs> Happy birthday, I got you this coyote. You had triumphed, narrowly avoiding tooth and claw. The scribe of beasts was defeated. That you were able to defeat me beggars belief, but now I must yield to you. My only regret is that our battle was so brief. Surely, the summit of victory is made sweeter by a more arduous ascent. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta work through it to get that sweet, sweet victory. You gotta earn that victory, according to Leshy. But I think I did. I think I did a good job of earning it. The Scribe of Beasts was defeated. Good game, buddy. Good game, Grandpa. Stop. What is that? Oh hell. Here comes trouble. I had to see your face after you lost. You're just so bad. It's no wonder we're back here again. We would have been even sooner if the disc wasn't lost. Take a long look at this face. Because you'll never see it again. I'm done being your pet, you stinking beast. Sashay away. There goes trouble. I pushed it too far that last time. Why don't they see? To live as a beast would be the noblest thing. Even so lowly as a creature, as a stoat. It's just so... Interesting! It's so interesting! Just a bunch, just a bunch of goobers fighting for each other's, like, control and, like, putting each other through hellish layers of, well, hell. <laughs> Here comes the bad no-good room! Oh, you have found us here. This is good. This is good. We require, we require. We require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. Thank you. I believe if I've done this already, I'll still have the key in later runs. I kind of remember that, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Take that with a grain of salt. Bet this room smells bad. It smells like mold. You have the cards? Sacrifice two of your grave digger cards. No. Let me think. Well, how many grave digger cards do I have? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, grave digger? You. Uh. I have five. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. You've been there? How did you get in the game? Wow. That's awesome. What was it like? The note reads. Greetings. If you are reading this, it must be because you wish to challenge me, Magnificus, to a card battle. But in order to earn that privilege, you must first defeat my three graduate students. As for their whereabouts, that is for you to discover. Sincerely, Magnificus. Okay. Hang on, I gotta get my really funny cool monocle. And then I gotta run! Here's the paint. Like, it's my colors. 
How can you blame me for th for, for ah, I didn't mean to go in there. Well, there's no paint in here, but I just noticed that it sure is drippy with blood in here. I'm out, or some sort of liquid. Could be, could be jam. Who's to say? Show me the secrets. Show me that secret. Hmm. Was it in here? Or did I get the wrong place? Where was it again? Literally trapped his sidekicks in prisms and said, What a fun puzzle for the player. <laughs> I don't know. Part of me kind of wonders if, 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 if Magnificus is more of a, like, um... What if Sans Undertale completely lost it and had no more humanity? Oh, there's, right, for the ARG, there's paint here. That's what it is. Or like the, the secrets. Not the ARG, but secrets in general. General secrets, not limited or exclusive to the ARG. Raspberry preserve on the wall. Still biting. Still being that nasty little nibbler. Where else? Let's go on back to here. Hello! Now let me see. That's how it's set up to start. Is this door open? I don't think so. There's a chest! We can see what's in the chest. Inside of the chest or the inside of the chest, is covered in a sticky green goo, but you can find... You can find it! Who knows if I actually did? <laughs> Sorry, I added can and I had a conundrum. I love the wizard pack design. Just a funky old wizard. You can never go go wrong with a wizard. Also, I like how... How... Simple, yet clever, these cards are named. Like, it's just green and orange. Master Gorange. Master Gorange gonna gore you with the green and the orange and the woo. Uh, hinting at the woodcarver. Ah, I see. That was really cool. I think I forgot that little detail. Whoa! <laughs> this is the glossary of cards that we've collected. Ah, oh, right, and because I filled this out already, I think... I don't I don't think I actually collected this yet, right? I've only clicked on one tentacle so far. Maybe two? I think just one. Maybe. But but I don't feel like I've gotten all of these cards. Maybe I did. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Maybe I'm overthinking things. These are all new, so I'm gonna assume that I've just made up everything I talked about for the past couple minutes. Oh wait, there's the spore mouse. You saw right, spore mouse, spore mouse, spore mouse. Where are you, spore mouse? Let me see you with yeah, spore mice. Yeah, so it remembers that I did it, which is great because besides actually going to see the bone lord this time, the extra stuff is already unlocked, including the stuff that will come in the future. So hey, thumbs up. <laughs> now. Let's read this note again. Skull. Wing. Skull. Where's the skull? Here's the skull. Where's the wing? There's the wing. Where's the skull? Where's the skull? Where's the skull? There's the skull. I'm feeling very sing-songy today, I guess. It's a Toad Tuesday. Hello, friend. The pain is unbearable. My organs are melting. Do you see? Magnificus turned me into a uh, goo for my final exam. I just need to defeat one more challenger. Then, then I will earn my rightful place. My rightful place in the deck of the master as one of his prized, prized cards. Arr, nothing will stop me. Oh, to suffer for your art. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't. There is- there is no honor in suffering. There is no honor in pain. Thank the headache medication. I think...
I think if I don't have anything to do damage off the bat, I'm gonna get slapped. So I'm gonna re-roll. Okay, that's that's better. Here. We're gonna get our mantis right here. Art tip, suffer more, parody. <laughs> Now, I'm also going to sacrifice this guy to get this one on the board. Now they can't do anything. They cannot hurt me. At least not until that other one comes down. Oops. It's fine. We're having fun. We're giving- we're- 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 we're participating in the match. Oop, never mind. Our participation is rapidly coming to a close. I'm so sorry. I- what's messed up is I think even if you throw the match to like try to let them graduate, they're still not allowed to graduate. Like, like, if- 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 I think if- if our goose friend here, uh, wins, it's like, Master, did you see? I won! Wait! Wait! No! <laughs> and it's so sad. It's so sad. No, please. Please, just tell the master I passed. He won't know the difference. Here, take this pack. Green mage. The power of the green mage. I'm a green mage. Kinda. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad. Here, I can open the door for you. Thanks. We've got this one. You find a card pack among a heap of sharp implements. Oh, my gems. Bleens. Blue, green. And and the same broken obal we still have. Uh, here is where you would grind for, for, for extra packs, like seals and stuff. Your training dummy friend. But you do have to fight it at least once, I think. To try to get the code. The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. And suddenly it springs into motion! Oh, what- what was it that you had to do for this one? Here, I'll do this maybe? Collapses into a pile of bones. Skull! Okay, there's Skull. That's good. Uh, we'll get Gravedigger collecting bones for us. Practice Mage leaves a ruby mox in its place. So there's the shove symbol, so skull shove. Gravedigger digs up a bone. Ruby mox moves to a new space. And then we would take a hammer, destroy you, get another one back here for fun, get another skeleton. So it's skull, arm, and wing. Skull, arm, wing. This is such a cool puzzle, by the way. I just, I, what a, what a nice little thing. You can use this to get more, like, uh, foils, but also, it's just a really neat little puzzle. Testing to see, testing to see what you got cooking. Here we go. Get some extra- get some extra points on the board. We don't really need foils now that we got the one card that I care about the most. Love puzzle. The dummy's hinges creak back into position, and it returns to its lifeless stare. Alright, where is the skull, the arm, and wing? I think you're really interesting. I want to know your story. Just imagine you are an ice cube slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a sphere is... Well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. I love how the card actually has a hole in it, too. What a lovely little detail. Uh, Mage Knight, Ruby Mox, and Ruby Golem. 
Hmm. I think the best thing for me to do right now is to just let these guys hang out together. And then Mantis God will be safe for at least one turn. Okay. Next. Let's go ahead and get the fawn in here. For fun! Pike Wizard's boss card is ouchies. Ah, oh, that's right. Her name is Pike Wizard. Pike Wizard! Write the call out post! They all need to write the call out post. They need to get out of here. Um. I think I'll leave it alone for now. Because then I can get rid of that guy. And this guy. Get them get get rid of them both. Only only Mox cards remain. Oh, I also got the 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 wizard in the back. I feel bad. Uh okay. I was thinking about if it, if it would be worth the clicks to do it, and I was like, oh wait, I can win. <laughs> Perhaps I will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. Take this pack. What a raw, like, idea. I have mastered disappointment. I am unassailable. The disappointment I have experienced throughout my lifetime has broken me in ways you cannot comprehend. Go. <laughs> I made that so much more dire, <laughs> saying that right before. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when I say that, I'm mostly thinking of- There was a tweet I saw once upon a time that was along the lines of uh, a Final Fantasy XIV player saying, uh, like, like they, they looked at someone's search info for some reason, and then they decided to disengage because they saw Party Finder has broken me in ways unimaginable. You cannot hurt me. Let's see. The top sigil is found by the greedy. Oop, didn't mean to click it again. A single bunny. The middle sigil is found by the pale. Uh, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing, or by those who hear too easily. Me and my sensitive little ears. My auditory sensory issue! I don't know if I actually, like, I mean, I probably, I, you know how, like, you don't really think about aspects of yourself, but you're like, I mean, actually, what if, <laughs> you know? I'm sensitive to sound sometimes. I love the paint on the settings, by the way. This is also cool! The shovel, or as I like to call it, the bird. I really couldn't wrap my head around this puzzle and just brute forced it every time. I can't even remember. Like, like again, I'm I'm excited to like go back to the past and see like how my brain kind of exploded. Cause I don't think I I really got this either on my first run. But it's so cool. I think this is correct. Hang on, let me double check. The middle sigil is found by the pale. Top sigil is found by the greedy. Oh, there's probably another sigil in here. You reach back in for more and notice the sigil where the card used to be. Wing. Okay, so we just have to we have to change bunny to wing. I saw the bunny cord and I was like, bunny. <laughs> Here comes the thing! At last! Stimulation! My test has been sensory deprivation, you see! To unlock the full potential of my mind, you see! It's unlocked now, hear me magnificent! I'm ready! I have the battle, okay! This little thing, this guy! Stim wizard, huh? Do I have enough gas to take this... On. I'm gonna need- I'm gonna need to at least hit once, baby. And then I'll just have a nasty little two. Ow! 
Okay. We'll get... You going over here for when that Mox card comes down, and then I can get a couple extra bones. Oh no, oh no. Hmm. Oh, Force Mage. If a creature would attack Force Mage, it does not. Well, that's good that I have the Grave Digger there. That's convenient. I should go ahead and also put the other Grave Digger here. And I could just start building bones, maybe. Build, build up some more bones before I have to say goodbye to the Tomb Robber. Ooh! Which actually, the opportunity may have just now prevent, pre prevented? That's the opposite, presented. I mean, not exactly the opposite opposite, but boy howdy, my, my words are really, really struggling. My, my vocabulary is struggling today. I think if I destroy this, Hover Mage will strike an opponent directly even if there is a creature Opposing it. Yeah, I should be fine for one more hit, but I'm also gonna put another skeleton down. You can never do too much damage when you're in dire straits. Their card just being completely black with the little eyes being all that's visible, right? Magnificus's like play mat is also like one of my favorites. Just little twinkly stars, I can't help it. Hey, it's our friend. What's up, Slayer? What's up, Killer? Let's bring it back now, y'all. One op this time. Two ops this time, actually. 32! 32 hops! Oh no, don't do that many. It's way too late for that. At least, I mean, if it isn't late, go for it. That was incredibly stimulating! We, we are done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance? You wouldn't leave, would you? I'm out of here. <laughs> And so, she left. <laughs> Master Orlu. I think it's orange and blue. Portal! The knight! What's up, Skelemagus? Gourmage. Gourmand, Gourmage. Okay, two bones to increase the power and health. Oh, that's right! This is the one. This is the one you feed bones to. And it gets so big and strong. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out, right? I want to, but I literally don't think I can. I want to help y'all, I swear. Which is why I'm probably I'm probably actually going to become the new. Uh, I mean, I'm a wi I'm a witch. I'm a wizard. The color palette already fits. I'm just going to take everything. <laughs> You're the grandpa. I'm going to rob. But first. The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Indeed, this great transcendence will have ca ca sounded out catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider- I'm doing a little bit of exploring because I know in a second I think, um, normally you're supposed to, you're supposed to get a cutscene card. There you are, Great Kraken. You're from the Hex, aren't you? Um, but, 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 usually you're supposed to be interrupted after, you're, after you defeat your second scribe, but I don't think that happened because we specifically did Leshy second. So I think we're gonna get interrupted after this one. Hello! Oh, you are here at last. How did my pupils fare? No matter. There are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. My eye aches with premonition. The future is very, very grim. First, we must battle. Whee! Behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. 
My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. Hey, Stim Wizard! Look at you! Sorry, let me actually pay attention to what the heck you did to my cards. When Drowned Soul perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in its place. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. When a skeleton is played, a rabbit is created. Uh, when skeleton is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mar Mox cards. Magnus Mox. Look at this. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I want to do here. I'm going to re-roll, actually. Okay. Oh, well, that's okay. That's a bummer. Hmm. Hmm. I might have to actually go back and... Um... I might have to go back and get uh, my cards adjusted for this. Specifically because of the sigil business. Oh, we could get a rabbit. Hmm. There we go. Rabbit. And we get another rabbit. I would love that, actually. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. When Elk Fawn perishes, a Ruby Mox is created in their place. Let's do it. Where do I want to do it, though? Is the question. Maybe over here? Because I know it's just going to get destroyed by this thing again. Hmm. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I can summon f uh, this one now. So let's have you start wailing on that. More bunnies. Uh, we will... What will we do, huh? Need to get some of these guys out of here, you know? Get rid of this guy. Pulling it back. One step at a time. Ooh. Mox cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Let's do it! Bunny buff! We got the bunny buff! Ah, Bunny buff over. Oh, now this thing is... Oh, we could draw cards equal to the amount that we have on the board in a bit. That could be useful. Because we I think I just need more of my cards. I have 12 cards left. Hey, what are you gonna do now? Mox cards on the other side of the board. Gain one power. Sure. We're whittling away the Magus. I've just gotta hold on. Nice. At least, I, hey, you know what? We're making the Magus things work. We're, we're working with what we got. And we can still work with what we got, too. Ooh. I'll go ahead and do this one. Because it only costs one bone versus doing six. Ooh. Okay. I can work with that. Here. Get, get going. Get the get the wolf buff. Huh? Hi, honey. I love you. Oh, okay. Hi. Thank you, honey. Bye bye. Jordan came to say hi. It's almost nine o'clock. I should probably find a, a a stopping point here. At least, hey, I was worried about not making it to nine, but. Here we are. Also, I think I messed up by getting rid of that guy. So instead, I'm just going to put you there. <laughs> How about that? Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. 
I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. salamander well I mean hey at least right now this isn't a problem because I'm not attacking it we just gotta keep we gotta keep rolling Ooh. okay um we could increase the power to two that's fun I think, I think we're honestly good. Look at that. Who the heck was that? That was my husband. My husband said hi to me, oh my God. Very well. <laughs> Very well. We have battled, and now I may speak. You see? My eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised! By none other than Leshy, the scribe of beasts. And a beast he is, arrogant, single-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become Hedgeman. Hegeman? Hedgeman? I digress. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. You must be especially aware of- Uh-oh. <laughs> Silenced. The battery ran out. <laughs> battery fully charged. SOH, can't believe this censorship. We're being silenced. Let, let's look at some footage together, shall we? I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. This is where all your troubles began. Hello there. Exclamation point. That's the my secret to being cash. I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you've sent me over the years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of Inscription. I think maybe one of my fans pranked me and buried a copy in the woods near my house. Upon further research, however, I have not been able to find any record. Can I jump to certain parts of the video? Of elaborate hoax? I might check after a second. Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the lucky Carter. And there okay. you go. Good enough. Sent. <laughs> and then he got a vision of the future and, and realized what was about to happen. It was just like, oh, <laughs> that's what it kind of looks like, right? Hang on, I don't think I can actually... Can I like... So this is how you can... Fast forward. I just wanted to see what he said about the, the, the actual game. Your card games. Like, does that mean Game Funa? Has other card? We should kill this guy. No, honey, no. <laughs> but like, it makes me wonder. Um. Also, wait a minute, honey. You haven't played this game. Spray, spray bottle. <laughs> no, it's okay. I, it's it. I'm sure I've somehow spoiled this for you at some point. But, um. <laughs> now Jordan, go on. <laughs> but yeah, it made me wonder if if Game Funa also did like more card games than Inscription. Because I mean, like that feels like the implication, right? If you do one, maybe they 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 actually did send other stuff that was not as haunted. I don't know. Either way, let's go to. By the way, you know what? This is kind of funny. This is October twelfth. This is this is this month. Soon! I don't actually know when I'm gonna stream this game again, so what if we just wound up on one of the days? We might just wind up on one of the days. 
It can happen. Because I am going to uh, probably call it soonish, but let's keep going. <clears throat> Not for the original card game. Hey, ah, gamers, okay. I'm the Lucky Carter, and this. Well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do. So I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game? Me, me. I did. I'm Hang on. About that vintage I gotta get to the comment section quick. Last week. Quick. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of Inscription. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find a word about it. I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me. But as a fallback, I got you beautiful viewers. Hopefully dig up something. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Ah, oh, no, uh, the haunted, the censorship. What, what is it again? The Carnoffle Code? This is the part in the stream where it just suddenly goes dark. <laughs> Mr. Carter, we have received your inquiry regarding a digital version of our intellectual property inscription. We can assure you that no such software exists in any official form. However, if you have indeed come into possession of proprietary game Pluto hardware, you are compelled to return to us under the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. He'd be whispering. The hardware will be considered stolen if it is not returned to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and paste the attached shipping label to the front of the box. You may mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in returning the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Funa, Customer Happiness Department. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck? Uh-oh. And then I think this is just glitching. Which, uh, like, I forget which ones are actually, like, there's, like, at least one where there's some substance emits the glitching, but I don't think it's these. Because, like, hang on, volume warning, I'm going to just click on it just to remember, remind myself how bad it is. We're going to go three, two, one. Ah, yeah, that's really bad. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's why I don't really click on those. <laughs> I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm copy Redacted. Also, he came by a copy of it somehow. Foot in the door. Uh, Sound familiar? No. No. No, I don't know anything about that. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are, uh, Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the luckycartergmail.com? Yeah, uh, good you know, old Gmail. Uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Really? Because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. It spells out Amanda. Oh. I'm a big fan. <sighs> Which I think oh. is also X-related, if I remember Listen, uh, just what I passively I got blasted in the yeah. face with. My boss gave me your address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? Will do. Take care. Fuck. Like at the very least, if I if I don't play like both of the games, if I did play one of them uh, on stream, 
uh, probably the hex, because at least, like, there's stuff, like, more attached, I guess, question mark? Uh, we're gonna click 1017. Stop hey there, cursing! <laughs> I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil Thalamir. Must be like nighttime with uh, the, like, you know that kind of lighting that only happens at night where things are just kind of more yellow because of your bulb? I can't do this. The cabin, the cards, it's calling me. Luke Cursor, got him. Oh, hang on. Um, Trying to side, like, I already thought it was not worth it to click all the before, but now I'm like, oh, but if I'm missing something I didn't see before, I don't think I'm missing anything dramatic, which we can go over again later. Cause I can, I think I can revisit this uh, anytime I want, especially later. Like we will, we will, we have access to this. Wizard, <laughs> we got a wizard card. Oh, thank goodness, my my save file, my my game didn't crash before I got my rewards. Oh my goodness, we got a. Imagine missing out on on Master Bleen and the Gore Mage. Imagine a terrifying loss. Two of them. Um, Grange. I don't think we've gotten. I don't think like in this run specifically we've gotten all the color mages. Maybe we have, I can double check later, but either way, either way, I don't actually want to pause it because I like this, I like this song, but we're actually gonna say goodbye. We're gonna say goodbye for now because it is 9.09 and normally I stream for about four hours. I know I wound up kind of stepping away here and there to like, um, like, like to help out with stuff and things. Oh no! Never mind, we have to never mind, we have to keep playing. Never mind, we have to keep playing. Hi Penny! <laughs> Hi Penny! Sonic Fun, Sonic Fun, thank you for the raid! How was how was Sonic with Mar? You were doing that with Mar, right? I hope y'all had a wonderful time. Folks, welcome on in. My name is Katie Diz, but you can call me Katie. It was Sonic Fun! Yay! Keep playing, keep playing, keep having fun! <laughs> Well, I have been- I have- I have simply been demanded. I have simply been requested. Gang, welcome to the stream. If you are new to the stream, my name is Katie Dids, but you can call me Katie. I actually think I- I've got just- like, I'm thinking of what we can do today in terms of what I can get up to, what I can play. I think I got enough in me to show y'all some more. We're playing Inscription! Which, if you haven't heard of Inscription before, uh, it is a card game. Uh, from Devolver Digital. It is attached to uh, a series of games such as The Hex and Pony Island, but they're separate enough, you know, but Inscription can be kind of scary. It can be kind of tough uh, if you are sensitive to flashing lights or like uh, sensory, it, like there's static uh, noise in this game. I'm trying to dodge those as best as I can, but uh, check out exclamation point CW if you are not familiar with or just need a reminder of the content in this game. Thankfully, this portion, for the most part, is not so bad. We're kind of, we're in act two. Uh, so, uh, I recommend if you haven't played this game, play it blind. Do it fun. Look up the warnings and then do it blind. Do it for fun. <laughs> but thank you again for the raid. Honey, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I hope you had so much fun. Just, just today in general. Just uh, good days upon you. Blam, blam, blam. <laughs> Sonic fun. Hi. Love the screen layout. Thank you. Here, let me take y'all back to the video game. Let me get my stuff set up. You caught me at just the right time. Let's do. Let's do a little more gaming, shall we? This is Act Two of Inscription. Uh, I made myself a little wizard. Uh, I've currently been working with. Let me show y'all my deck really quick. I've got Ouroboros. Uh, I've got it to level nine. I think it's really neat. I've got some Mantis Gods. I'm mostly running with a death deck, a skeleton deck, uh, and me blending in some beasts, even though I kind of want to replace uh, Magnificus now, which that's what we're doing. We're playing cards. Uh, we have to figure out what our ambitions are and decide what got what scribe we want to be. And I want to be the scribe of magic. Cause hey, I'm a wizard. 
I'm a witch. Uh, and let's see. We've got, we did Grimora, we did Leshy, we did Magnificus. All this left is Poe. So, hey, how about, uh, if I don't go much farther, let's at least check out what Poe's got going on in the factory. Hi, EO3. Challenge me. Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And please have a decent deck by the time you're done. Okay, geez, all right. Okay, okay, I, okay, I promise, boss. Okay, hey, can I look in your recycle bin? <laughs> Let's look through some junk cards and find a card pack. Techno card! Get a load of this guy, right? What do we got going on? By the way, chat, before I forget, for folks coming in from the raid, if you gotta get going, feel free to get on going. It's late at night. Get yourself rested. Get a dinner if you haven't. But if you want to, feel free to stick around. I'd be happy to have you. And again, Penny, thank you for the raid! What can we do? with these. This is a bomb, so I think if I want to cause mass destruction uh, it's like I would just need to get rid of these? Oh no, but then there's this. Ah, I'm puzzling. Oh, we're puzzling. Oh, what a puzzle. I forget how to do this one. These pose puzzles, I'm the worst at. Let's see what happens when they're all there. Uh, this blocks flying creatures. Still just a one. And then that gets me a three. And no matter what I move on this aspect of it. Oh, but I could do that. There we go. And then that destroys the force field. There we go. I worked my way through it. Like even though I've played this game before, uh, I just love how how the puzzles can stay fresh in my mind. Or not fresh in my mind, but they're fresh to me after not playing it for a while. It's cool. The stream seems like a lot of Sonic fun. Oh man, y'all brought the Sonic party. The Sonic fun. You know what? We pretty much are just kind of trying to find our way through the equivalent of a Robotnik factory right now, huh? Feels like it, at least. What would be best? There we go. Get the mantis in there. The lock cracked open. A drawer emerged from within the device and it contained two pet cards. Delicious energy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get used to energy really soon. Oh boy. Stim mage. Hi Katie, my name's Morgan. I'm a he him and I came here from Penny and Mark's stream. I really, I'm really digging your energy so far and I can't wait to get to know you. Have fun, thank you, and welcome to the stream. I'm glad you had fun with Penny and Mar today. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta reach out personally and see how they are soon. I'm bad at, at, at direct messages, but I care them. Ah! After this, I also gotta figure out if I got time to catch up on funny fantasy. You want to trade? No thanks, but look at this curve hopper. Such a smiley little fella. Ew, it's me, the curve hopper. Just dropping machines into the void. Stimphage is a favorite of yours. Yeah, I love Stimmage. We just got we just I should have I should have tried to play more slowly so I could get so I can show y'all just them dancing around fancy free, living their best life. Let's see. I don't think those actually give me cards. They're just trying to solve the solution by doing math. There we go. Add that up to make six. The batteries basically are charging it uh, and adding values to them to get the value we need to open the, to open the puzzle. To put the bridge back up. What is it? What do you want? Can't you see that I'm very, 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 very busy here? What? PO3 isn't happy with my output but I am merely the inspector. Thank you for the follow. To put better bots on the line, I would need to. Just who are you to be carrying orders from PO3? 
POC would only trust someone with some semblance of card game skill. I am very busy, but I must know if you are qualified to give me orders. Right. His name is Lonely Wizard, not, not... How could I possibly forget? A while back I used to like saying, Lonely Wizard, write the callout post. <laughs> I feel like I saw that on Tumblr or something. Let's get different cards. Okay. I think I'm gonna want to... At least get one damage on the board and then take out the conduit before it gets crazy bad. Ooh, that also works. Here, we'll take this. We'll put uh, Rattle Me Bones here. And then we'll also sacrifice the skeleton so that we get a stronger creature soon. Beast attack now! <laughs> attack my foul beast! Wreck havoc! Give them hail! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I think I'll just uh, try to work on this conduit. I won't destroy it, but it'll be it'll be easier to get rid of soon. Come on, digging up that bone. Woo! Hmm. Do I want to sacrifice Grave Digger? Because if I break the conduit with Mantis God, then... And I'm also breaking it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it! I'll hit three. Get rid of all that. And the leap bots are simply going to have to deal with it. I return from the depths of hell. Welcome from the depths of hell! Skellington sacrificed. A brave soldier. Um, yeah, I don't, if it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. A win for me. Hmm. Oh, I wonder if Mar is lurking around. If you can hear my voice, I am going to play 999. I have put it in the cards. I'm thinking this Friday, which if other folks want to see 999 with me, I've never played it. So, hey, look forward to that this Friday. Oh dear, your message from PO3 must indeed be genuine. As I mentioned, I am merely an inspector. Not an engineer, nor a designer. I cannot send new bots down the line, but I, I, I can send myself. I am proud to have served PO3 faithfully. Well met, stranger. Well met, robot. PO3's strongest warriors throwing themselves onto the conveyor belt. Meanwhile, PO3 Clueless, has no idea who these people are. <laughs> Simply thinks they're all trash. Ain't that just the way? We really like having that right, right side? I guess that would technically be left. Either, we only like having one side of the coin for that, for that orble, obel even, orble. I have to go, but it was nice meeting you, Katie. I'll have to check out more of your streams later. Have a good evening. You have a good evening, too. Thank you for stopping by. I super appreciate it. Ooh, yeah, that's a nice eight. Nine, 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 nine Katie's, nine frogs, nine burgers. <laughs> all the burgies. Is it because I overcharged it or I have to use them all? Yeah, there we go. Now it's simply four. Math, numbers. I I really did not understand how these work the first time. Like I'm, I'm sure it's obvious uh, based on that one time I added up eight plus eight to fourteen instead of sixteen. <laughs> um, but yeah, math hard. Um, I'm trying to think. I want to block this off. Plus, hmm. No, I have to I have to put that somewhere else, don't I? Where can it go? Where can where can we put it? Probably reverse. And then do plus one there. Just have to shuffle it around a little bit. Who needs math anyways? Who needs them? 
Math? Who's that? Ha ha ha! Sorry, this guy thinks it's funny is not math. What was that? We are, I, I am the Melter. They send me raw materials and I, well, you could see how it works. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> not another word out of you. Hang on, I have to do something in a sec. We must have a card battle. I might have the text dialogue too fast. Can I do that here? Options. What is the text we got? Yeah, slow it down. I might have sped it up when I played this on my own time. Because I love just like... Leshy has a uh, unique dialogue if you... If you fight him and like you don't move on to the next act like you ju you just keep fighting him in act one not casey's mod style but rather um like just going through that loop with the moon and like i just think it's cool all the little extra dialogue you get it's really it's it, it really adds more depth to the character in a way that makes me feel rewarded for investigating question mark Feels good. Have a great night. You too! You have a wonderful rest as well. Love when games do, do extra dialogue like that. Yeah! Thank you for dropping by! Oh, we got an elk now. Uh, do I want to summon bones? Might be good since another another thing is coming in. Oh well, actually, yeah, we don't really got much to worry about. Uh, I can't summon this, so attack my foul beasts, my creatures of the night. <laughs> have you thought about playing any of the other Daniel Mullins games? I have. We talked about it a little bit, but I think the consensus is like if I do play any on stream, I want to do probably the hex, but I'm also on the fence. I'm like, hmm, we'll see, because there's also a bunch of other games I want to play too. But at least the hex, if not boat. Help me! Excellent battle. Now, with that aside, what did you come to tell me? PO3 wishes for better bots for a scanner. That is difficult. You see, I melt the metal, but I cannot reprogram the stamping machine. There is a way to send at least one new bot down the line. No, no, no! <laughs> yes! For PO3! I salute you, soldier. And also, I feel so, so bad for you. <laughs> oh, man. How dire. How dire it must be to be a character in this game and have no control. Uh, I think... Gotta think about how I wanna do this. Cause maybe if I just put those... Uh, no. Eh. How did I do this the last time? Because, so like, theoretically, this could work. And then you could put one here, and then. But that cuts them all off. And that just gets you two. That also only gets you two. When your headmate has horrible taste in scribes. True! There we go. Have I ever heard of Kill a Kill? Yeah, I have. I haven't really watched it though. I honestly don't know if I will, <laughs> knowing what I know about it, but I do think, I do think uh, the animation is insane. It's really good. Even if it's not my cup of tea, I gotta admit, they do be animating like maniacs over there. There we are. We m I don't know if there's multiple solutions for this, but if it works, it works. Yeah, studio. You know what I'm actually really excited to see? Uh, the Dungeon Meshi anime. 
I've been I've been meaning to to read it since we have like at least one of the books in the house, but now that it's going to get an anime, I'm like, oh yeah! And I think it's by Trigger, if I'm re remembering correctly, like the animation aspect of it, like all the character designs, like. I think I saw a post of the Dungeon Meshi, uh, uh, artist, like, actively, like, like, going into detail about how they're, like, pushing themselves to, like, come up with distinct character designs, even if they are of the same, like, race, or drawing them in very distinct styles just to get an idea of, like, okay, what is the distinct silhouette of this character? It's, like, so cool! That's so cool! Artistic process rules! Oi, mate! I know what you're here for! Thank you for the follow, enjoy your stay. I know what you're here for. You're asking me to take a dive, but I can't accommodate you, mate. Got special orders in it. Look into Dread Simpson special. We can duel, I maybe even give you something if you win, but I can't be taking a dive. PO3 will understand. Ooh, is it that soon? Ah, exciting. Speaking of exciting, I've also got to I missed the opportunity to watch it um in Joy Server, but I also got to go like grab Jordan and be like, "Can we cuddle and watch I Favor the Villainous, please?" I think n if I remember how this match goes. Okay, I could I could work with that. Here, we could do three. You know what? Mate, uh, can't, can't take me out of me work here. Uh, I'll give you this one. I can't be taking a dive five seconds later. I'm taking a dive. <laughs> here, take your pack. Thanks. 49er. Little miner. Now off with you. I need to concentrate. Boy, is that PL3 is gonna reward me big for this? One. Oh, there it is—the glitchy mess that—that that is the true signal of all of our distress and troubles. I think you can actually, like, if you take the time to wait, you can follow this thing all the way up. It's crazy, just all those shapes in there. Off with you. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder what happens if you beat him first turn. I think if you beat him first turn, he's just like, like it's not, it's nothing too crazy, but it's, it's like an acknowledgement of like, oh, okay, phew. Thank goodness. Simple and clean, quick and easy. Molten metal has no right looking as fun to touch as it does. It's 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 every year the statistics for peop amount of people who perish due to playing in the forbidden goo rises. It's a tragedy, I tell you. I'm just gonna check my deck really quick because I know <laughs> this battle is kind of odd, and I kind of got used to doing it in like the lazy way. So we might have some difficulty here, but let's try to beat this robot, shall we? The bots haven't gotten much better, but you battled all of my workers. And you actually won. Give me that deck again. Wow, you beat them with that? All right. Maybe there are some synergies that I missed. Let's go then. The ultimate gamer. You see those conveyor belts? Just like my factory. At the very least, they ought to test your lane positioning. Alright, oh, we are in the club tonight, y'all. I have to be careful with how I want to do this, because I can lose control of this very quickly. See how that works? Okay, your turn. Noted. Uh, I'm gonna pop this guy. And eh, I'm gonna save him. 
I need to be careful with my resources right now. Feels bad getting rid of the big old sack of blood before it can come over to my side, but it is what it is. We're also going to lose that one in a turn. Hmm. Would it be worthwhile to just sacrifice it then? Maybe. It feels bad though. Oh, I feel bad. Hmm. I'll do two damage if I don't add anything. The accursed goo. The accursed lava. I can do two hits and then I'll go over here. And then it will at least block the hit coming in from the melter. Which, by the way, hi melter, you're in the deck now! Um. Yeah, I think I'll only really get one hit off. So, I'll go ahead and set up the wolf for the long term. All right, explode bot, detonate adjacent creatures. No, oh, my mantis! Help! Okay. Back on the board. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. Putting down a grave digger and like letting it loop around. Hmm. If I wasn't interested in also doing... Oh, this would get kind of wacky, wouldn't it? Just this this elk fawn running around the board. Maybe I'll wait to summon it until the next turn. I could also just go ahead and put this guy down. Just get like an extra hit. Ground Soul's touch of death kills instantly. Melter releases the creature inside. That's good. If that comes to my side of the board, then... Ah, uh, here's this. Now... In order to not get completely wrecked, I am going to sacrifice my, my elk fawn. Or not elk fawn, but wolf. <laughs> I was looking at the elk fawn and just like, yep, this dog is a is a is a deer actually. Okay. Now I am going to lose the drowned soul, but at least it only does one. So hmm. I could wait and then... No, I'm gonna lose the bombs anyway, aren't I? Hmm... It's hard! This one's hard! Dogs are very dear to me personally, Hey. Hmm... I'm thinking... I'm thinking, and I think I'm just gonna roll with it. Detonation! Ooh! And it turns, and then we are going to... Oh, I guess, I guess if I wanted to, I could just kill it. But do I want to kill it? No, not particularly. Here, let's put down one of you. And then... Get a skeleton in here. Oh, you leaped the block! <gasps> and you're mine now! And you're mine now soon! That's nice. <gasps> Ouroboros, it's an Ouroboros. Okay, I have to think about how I want to set this up. Oh god. Oh jeez, it's gonna get really messy in a second, guys. This music goes hard, it scratches my brain. This is some brain scratching movement. M movement? Music. It's so brain scratchy, I'm losing my ability to speak words. 
here. Let's go here. And Ouroboros will get us back on track. Oh, scanner's online. Which card to scan? Just kidding. Obviously the one with the best stats. So that means a lot of these are coming in. The stat line could be better. Your move. Well, thankfully, thankfully, <laughs> um, this is good for us. There we go. And just to rub salt in the wound. Twelve. Well, I made the stat line better. <laughs> Pfft, nice luck you had. I guess playing a perfect game is no match for good RNG. Ain't that just the way? You're welcome, Bo. Good game. Good game, BO3. Sorry, mad about it. I guess you won. Your ambition is to become the scribe of the dead? A naive spinster. You ought to reconsider. What, you think I should be the god of technology instead? You think I should be the, the scribe of beasts instead? Okay, well, I guess you have nothing more to say on that matter. Goodbye! I'm not owned. <laughs> you did not, you did not own me. I refuse. All right. Uh, I'm gonna double check my deck really quick. Really quick, like, really quick, like. I just wanted to see if I do have a thing. Yeah, I've got five of these and none of the other pieces. So let's, let's just go on, let's just go say hi. Let's go make a decision. It is time, challenger. Choose the scribe that you will replace. Decisions, decisions. Decisions, decisions. Hmm. I think nobody would mind if you killed and replaced Magnificus. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I am, I shall become the new scribe of magics and we will draw and paint together every day with no one being Gored or body horrored. I already know I have lost. I have foreseen it. My eye aches once again. Why must my pathetic slime age always fail? You take that back! You did the slime age try so hard, I'm gonna get you! But would I be so meticulous in my preparedness if I myself had tasted power? Alas. I may never know. Show yourself, fiendish machine. Alas, ill fates await us all. Tedious old fool. I don't owe you anything. Now let's play. Ah, the juice is in the writing. You're supposed to battle the scribe that you picked, but like, a powered up version for the finale? This is going to be different. It sure is. Um Let's get let's get Wolf God on here. Honorary Wolf God, honestly. I'll just leave this here. I've gotta give it to that dredger. Not as useless as I thought. But what if I didn't attack the giant goo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, you know what? That is true. Magnificus never gave the 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 slime mage a fishing spot. Where are they supposed to find the code? Did they did they hope that by melting down the, the slime god into slime, they would somehow produce this? You take the moon, and you take the moon. Eh. 
Let's become his gods. Audio warning, by the way. That's the ticket. I'm sorry, I forgot it just goes bad instantly. Ah! Ooh. I'm okay, just like clenching my eyes. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I broke. <laughs> I hate when my chunks get corrupted. Ah! <laughs> I was slow on that warning, y'all. I apologize. That's how you know I gotta get get on going soon. Oh no, it's almost ten. <laughs> Look what you got me doing. You sneaky fellas, you. I think Magnificus was hoping Goobert would be able to fit down the drain of the sink on the top floor for dredging purposes. Maybe? Hmm. Maybe Magnificus is just taking, like, lush baths in there and just hoping that one day the lush bomb will explode in the bath and be like, Hell bath! Yeah! <laughs> oh, you done gawking? Sorry, I'm talking about lush. Who are you? We can start? Start what? Good. This is Botopia, a once great technological paradise. It's ruled over by four, uh, uberbots. That's right, uberbots. And you have to go get out there. And you have to, you have got to get out there and beat them. Why? To perform the great transcendence, of course. Doesn't matter what that means. You want it, okay? Okay. Get up? No. We've got transcending to do. I've got snoozing to do. Let's check out the start screen. I love how depending on where you are, where where you are, where, 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 where you are in the game, this this screen will change. And now it's blue for Poe. This game is awesome. I like it a lot. I'm glad we got to do Act Two today. I'm very excited. Oh. Phew, okay, I thought I messed it up. That's how you get back to the overall scene selection. Oopsie daisy. But for now, let's go, let's go, let's, let's, let's go on, let's go on ahead over here. Shall we? Let me talk to y'all nice and personal like, huh? Let, let me, let me just say, once again, once again, as I get y'all some, some tea. Ah, Tomodachi Life. I've been playing Tomodachi Life too. Now that my DS is fixed, it's great. I love it a lot. And hey, I love that I got to share my replay of this game with y'all today. Or at least some of it. We're probably gonna finish this up real soon. Um, That's right, if anybody did doodle. I don't know if I have time tonight uh, to check, cause oh man y'all, it is hot in this room. I gotta get out of this room. <laughs> I gotta go check on Jordan and get, and get decompressed. I wanted to do Final Fantasy tonight, uh, but oh man, it's hot. It's hot. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. But thank you so much for spending time with me today. I had a lot of fun. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna stream this again on Saturday, if or, or if I'm gonna prioritize the new game that we're likely going to start, which is 999. That'll also be probably. I feel like at this point, a lot of my content is drifting towards like 18 plus stuff because 999 also gets a bit graphic. It also gets a bit wacky. Um, <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> um, 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 but yes, uh, I look forward to seeing y'all this weekend for another Cozy Frog Friday. Lots of cusses in that one, among other things. True, true, true. Let me take a look at Twitch, because I'm sure there's some folks who are jumping around and playing still at this hour. It's a, it's a Tuesday, it's a Tuesday night. Who is up? Who is out here? I'll tell you who's out here. I'll tell you who's out here. We are going to raid Jackson! I raid Jackson. I don't often get to, to raid Jackson, but Jackson's a really cool dude. Member of Raw XD. Uh, absolutely a delight and a joy. And hey, these streams are 18 plus too, so I've kind of got the scene set for 18 plus with inscription kind of but hey reminder if you are not 18 plus you gotta get you gotta go you gotta go <laughs> you gotta get you gotta get to bed it's a tuesday night it's a school night maybe i think <laughs> um 
yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna go say hi. Uh, raid phrase? What would be a good raid phrase for today? Glad I got raid dragged over here. It was nice to be introduced in, in this, in the, aw, in the chill stream. I really appreciate you saying that. I'm glad that y'all, for folks who stuck around from the raid, thank you so much for sticking with us. And hey, for my regulars, for my familiars as well, thank you for hanging out too. Thanks to everybody. Yeah, just, just, just as Rhapsody says. Raid phrase, hmm. Woohoo! Hey. Typing hard is always for me. What even was that sentence? Words are hard for me too. <laughs> um, uh, ma, 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 ma. I don't even know. I don't even know. Yeah, we got a rule for that one too. <laughs> it is sleepy times here. Raid phrase of. Raid phrase um. Hmm. Luke cursor. Um. Oh man, I'm like, I'm like. Because like as fun as My as, as fun as oh thank you for the follow Jerry Stay thank you for the follow at the end how about we just do the classic it's Toad Tuesday it's it's Toad Tuesday y'all do y'all got frog emotes y'all got frogs how about we do a ribbit raid if you don't got frogs. Feel free to do any emote of your choice. Or if you don't feel like doing frogs, just a ribbit will do. I'm gonna set up this raid real quick. Number Jackson. Making sure I spell it just right. Show show Jackson's stream the wonderful rainbow of frogs that Twitch has to offer. And hey, thank you again for hanging out with me today. I've I've been having a lot of fun replaying this game. I've been having uh, a lot of moments where I'm noticing things I didn't before. I'm appreciating things I didn't before. I'm also, you know, coming to terms with aspects of the game that I don't like. But overall, I think it's a really good game still. So we'll do this again really soon. We'll get we'll get through Act Three maybe if not this weekend on Saturday, then maybe next Tuesday. But yeah, I will see you Friday. Hopefully at 4 p.m. EST if things are good. And until next time, have a wonderful day, night, or whatever it is where you are, okay? I'm gonna cool down for the night. Take care! Bye 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 bye! Wahoo! Good night, y'all!